Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's going on, R2D2? What's up, natural muscle? What's going on, James? Can't complain, man. Just, you know, doing what I love, which is this mid tow shit. <sighs> All right. Oh, we already got our first call for the night. <clears throat> Caller, you're on the air. Big dog. What's going on, man? What's up, boss? What's going on, big dog? I can't complain, man. Just doing a live stream. What's up with you? Yeah, man. I was calling to tell you that I moved up mom's house, man. You know. Oh shit. I don't stay with her anymore. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I took your advice. I was the guy that uh. The warehouse, right? Police home, whatever. Yeah, right. yeah. Exactly yeah, I recognize the area code. So what's up? You got a new job? You got your own place now? What's up? No, I'm just, uh, I'm in a little room house, and uh, I start a new job on Monday. Nice. You know, that's pretty much about it. Nice. Uh, you know, I moved out of house or whatever, and, uh, and that's what it is. Absolutely. You don't need that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I, uh, I appreciate you using me as a reference, man, and the, and the, the woman at the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That came to mind when I was recording it. I'm like, oh, shit, I had to tell him that story. I'm like, oh, shit, man, I feel, I feel a little famous a little bit. He was yeah, a reference type shit. Absolutely, absolutely, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's why I'm calling, man. Let you know I took your advice, man. And exactly. you know, uh, just keep doing what you're doing, man. You know, I, I know you, you know, you're really intelligent. You use your research, and hey, man, you know, you're a mentor to me. So I appreciate, appreciate it, man. I appreciate what you do. I'm here to help, man. I'm glad I could uh, give you some wisdom, man. <laughs> yeah, all right, big dog. Appreciate the call, man. All right. Uh, all right, we're just getting started in here. Oh, Chewbacca Chabra. My favorite shit starter is back in the fucking uh, chat. Now all we need is Muhammad in here, and it becomes like fucking Ren and Stimpy. Or uh, fucking Tom and Jerry or whatever. <clears throat> All right. Just getting started in here. Let's hit those lights up. Is that the same thing? Oh. 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 Hey. Bro, I've had that fucking Billy Idol. Yo, Chewbacca Cabra. I've had that fucking Billy Idol song stuck in my head for like three days, man. And I can't get it out. Like, I don't even want it in my head anymore. But it's just like, when the midnight on, it goes on, on, on. Like, I wake up in the morning, in the river, yeah. And then, like, I'm eating lunch. Oh, more, more. And then I'm in the shower, like, tonight. More, more, more. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Get away from me. Like, it won't fucking go away. I don't know what it is about this song, bro. Like, I don't even like it that much, bro. Like, I don't even like the song, really. But it's just like, can't fucking get it out of my head, man. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is happening, man. But it's just... Wait a minute. It's a more, more, more. Fucking that God, man. Shit. Wait a minute. It goes more, more, more. <laughs> more, more, more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I 
Oh, finally, my boo is in the building. I've been waiting for you. I missed you on my last stream. My girl, my girl Limbo is in the building, man. Anyways, guys, the number's up if you want to call in and shit. No R2D2. We just have like a fake gay relationship in the chat. Like Limbo, Limbo basically sends me so many fucking hearts and shit in the chat. I so I just said, yeah, we you know we're dating. You know, Limbo's my uh, Limbo's my main squeeze. You know. Limbo just Limbo just love bombed me like so many times. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just make it official. I don't care. We got that. We got that Zabuza and Haku kind of thing going on, you know. <laughs> Fuck it. You only live once, right? Sometimes, sometimes you got to just tear up some booty, right? Like the booty warrior, right? I'm a rebel, yeah. You got more. You got more. Oh, shit. Oh shit. -na 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 -na. Fucking A. Limbo, what kind of video do you want, man? Phone lines open, anyone wants to call in, man. Shit. Well, make up your... Oh, my God, bro. Limbo, you're just like a fucking woman. All right? Make up your mind on what kind of fucking video you want, and I'll do the fucking video. And pumpkin pie isn't a fucking option. So give me... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Limbo. If you, if you became a $20 Patreon, so you picked the topic. If I picked the topic... I can't say this video is by Limbo because I came up with the fucking topic. You got to pick a topic. But you're just like a woman. It's like, where do you want to eat? I don't know. Where do you want to eat? All right. Why don't we go to Applebee's? No, I don't like Applebee's. Oh, my. Don't even fucking start, Limbo. I'm in a good mood right now. I don't want to hear that shit. Don't you even fucking start with me. God damn it. I'm, I'm feeling really positive and shit right now. And you're about to fuck my whole mood up with that shit. Don't even start. <clears throat> yeah, we need you need a subject, man. You need to come up with some. Hey, I mean, I'm I, that would that would make my day, babe. If you send me another twenty, shit, I might take you on a honeymoon. Take you to fucking the Bahamas or some shit, you know? God damn. <laughs> quantum physics fuck it I'll do a video on quantum physics <laughs> shit alright Charlie caller you're on the air I got a funny story for you yes sir so, uh, so as you know, men, men, we love, we love virgins, right? We, we love to marry a virgin. Well, so I was talking to this woman one day and she was talking about how she had had sex at 17 oh, and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm 22 and she's 23 uh -huh. right she's now. She's trying to make you wait. So, 
Do what? Is she trying to make you wait for sets till marriage, even though she's a... Oh, yeah. I think I just saw your comment. Yeah, she had the audacity. And actually, for some reason, I sensed that she was, for some reason, going to do that. So I was like, she was talking about how she had sex, and it was nice, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? For some reason, I really feel like telling her this. I was like, oh, well, just as long as you ain't going to try to make me wait till marriage, you know, it's... It's all good. And she was like, oh, well, actually, that's the thing. Oh. I'm sorry, but I want to wait. So I was telling her that uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to a restaurant and wait for, do the wait time for a steak and squid. Shit. And then bring me fries and chicken strips. Bruh, waiting to fuck a girl that's not a virgin, that's like, Going to a car dealership and placing an order on like a used car. That's like <laughs> that's like 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 bro, like let's pretend like the new fucking Corvette comes out, right? And there's like a waiting list. Everyone's like re, pre, uh what do they call it? Um pre-ordering the like new 2020 Corvette or some shit. And then you go in there and you put a pre-order on like a 2005 Corvette that's been out for like 15 years. But that doesn't even make any fucking sense. Yeah, well. Like, why would you order? Why would you order like something from overseas <laughs> if it was just going to be casual? <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. That's like you know, no, no cherry, no Mary. Jesus Christ, bro. That's like, what the fuck? I, you know, I've had a few bitches try to do that to me, and it's like they they already look like they've been ran through. It's like get the fuck out of here. You 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 missed the boat. Yeah, with that and shit, also babe. this this woman had gained some weight, and I I I didn't really <laughs> know she had fucked. I told her, I told her, you're not going to ride the cock carousel and then try to force me into marriage. Shit. And, you know, maybe yeah, I should have just this, told bro. her, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get married to you if you pay for the entire thing. Get this, Because I'm not going to pay a damn penny for used and damaged. And get this, bro. I'm not going well, to go to a fucking thrift shop here. Get this, bro. While she's making you wait for the sex, like a good boy, she's fucking Tyrone and Abdul on the side. Yeah, right, and when, I figured that would probably yeah. probably be, you know, because someone that dude. That's who, how she has the discipline to make you wait because she's not even waiting herself. You're yeah, the only one so, waiting. She tried to put me in a beta male category, and so I let her know that's not what was going to happen. Exactly. That's what happens when you meet women off the dating site. Oh they, shit! They look at they look at your pictures, or they look at one little thing, mm. and they they put you in the category of a beta. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. By the time you meet a chick on a dating site, she's already a used up whore. You know, straight up. Pretty much. There, there isn't really any virgins on there. Yeah. And uh, there's there's this little Sandman's been talking about this a whole lot about the about the legendary unicorn, the Walt. Uh, apparently, chicks with Asperger's syndrome are apparently these like magic unicorns. Or like guys, yeah. and from my personal experience, because I got a little, I got a little touch of that myself, of that syndrome. But the reason I went on this site was not because I was tired of talking to normal chicks. I sincerely wanted to date one of these magical. And I went on there, and I realized, like, holy fuck, it's the same thing. The younger chicks ain't even on there half the time. The only ones that are on there are like the used up cars. Fuck yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing. Fuck so yeah, I was like damn. Fuck yeah, man. I, like, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I. I guess at that point I realized, like, holy shit. There's. There's no. There's no such thing. I thought <laughs> yeah. maybe there would be a magical group of nope. girls. Nope. Do what? Nope. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. That magical but group yeah. of girls you're looking for, bro, are in like the fifth grade right now, like. And then once they hit the yeah. sixth grade, they're not going to be magical anymore because they got fucked. Yeah, until the, <laughs> until they legalize until they legalize pedophilia, <laughs> we're pretty much. Uh, yeah, bro. Like, you know, and you don't you don't you don't want to be doing that anyway, bro. That's that. that uh. Yeah, I know. Well, bro, I was fucking yeah, with a chick because... who's eighteen, right? I was fucking with a chick who's eighteen, but she weighed like eighty pounds. Like she was like really fucking skinny. Oh wow! And, and that's what I that's, imagined. That's like... That's what I imagined. That's like unhealthy. Man. It is. It is unhealthy. Like, I mean, she looked good, but she was just like she had that super petite thing going on, 
And that shit felt like pedophilia shit to me. I'm like, dude, I feel like I'm fucking a child. Like, like it was kind of gross to me, bro. I'm like, I don't like this like skinny chick shit. I mean, like, to be honest, guys like me would probably get a sick thrill at that. I don't know. For me, bro, it was gross. It was just like, I don't know, man. I, I, I felt like I was fucking like a 12 year old or some shit. I'm like, this is, I don't know, man. I need a little more like. Yeah, and now, and know. speaking speaking of something so funny, as, re- as we're talking right now, we got this girl who wants to lose her virginity to me over the summer while she's dating another guy. Oh, yeah. So I basically brought it up to her, and she's called. She she blocked her off of my phone, and now she's calling me while I'm on the phone with you. And I yo, 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 yo! Can you put her? Can you put her on three way right now? I'll listen. I won't say anything. I don't know how to do that. Fuck. Um, just press add to call. Yo, 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 button. bro. Just press add to call. Uh, if she's calling or some shit. The num- the number's blocked. Her She blocked my number. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, I can always dial star 67. Me and her talk about some oh, real shit, bro. If you shit. Figure, if you I figure some her, shit out. Up, if you figure some shit out, call me back and put that shit on three-way, man. Yeah, and I straight up told her <laughs> that... Uh, I straight up told her the reason I like you is because you're submissive and weak. That's yeah, that's a good thing. I know, and you know, and it's like you can hear the hoardiness in her voice when you talk. It's like when you talk to her and you that's say awesome. something very arrogant and rude. She's like, ah. "That's awesome!" Oh my god, that's awesome! Yeah, and then that, that's that's a big, and then that's why I try to stay away exactly. from online dating nowadays is because girls will try to say and logically say one thing and say they logically like yeah. one another. But when they're put on the moment with you, when they're put on the spot, they they just they just give in and squeal. Nice, you know, because yeah. you got to make them your little exactly. bitch. Exactly, I do the you same don't make thing. Make them; they're not going to be it. I do the same thing with limbo. I get them nice and submissive, and it's it's great. Yeah, and then sometimes <laughs> you gotta you gotta. And I made the mistake of trying to turn the domineering girl. Into the oh no! Girl. Fuck that it shit. Never fucking work. Fuck that. I don't even, bro. Domineering girls. I just like. Let them talk to the wall. Like, I, like, like, bitch, you go be domineering with yourself. Fuck that shit. Like, well, you know, they're they're yeah. good to have sex with because they can nah, be a little rowdy. But not even, nah, not even. Sometimes, but nah, I don't know. Yep, that's uh, pretty bad. So you pretty much we. I remember a year ago, I thought I thought maybe unicorns existed. <laughs> But I guess I guess we're just gonna have to turn them into unicorns. You gotta go to the fucking you know, enchanted sand forest of like Saudi Arabia to find that shit. Yeah, you know, you know? I, I to be honest, I I really just want. I really know this sounds fucked up, but if I haven't found a decent woman by the time I'm thirty and have all my shit together, I'm just gonna go and pump and up twenty one year olds. That's what I've been I know doing, that bro. They wouldn't. I know they wouldn't appreciate me. For me, so why should I even waste my time? Exactly, with them? and they're already used up. Well, yeah, but to be honest, I'd probably just fuck virgins. I mean, yeah. I would rather sleep with ten virgins than one hundred girls who wrote a bunch of cocks. I usually try to sleep with girls who are a little bit inexperienced, anyway, just simply because I don't want to catch an STD. And really, to be honest, sex. Sex to me is a dominant thing. It's not as much as I want to get my dick feeling good. I just like the fact of making the girl squeal and making her like just be be totally submissive because they all say they don't want to have sex on the first date, but then once you actually get them in your arms, oh, once you start touching their shit, they give in and they're like, oh yeah, fuck me. Absolutely, bro. I mean, it's... It's ridiculous, but my phone's getting blown off, uh, blown up by this these people. So I better get off of here. Definitely. Well, I appreciate the call, man. Yep. Yeah. Remember, no cherry, no Mary. Yeah, no hymen, no diamond, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Yo, Limbo, man, fucking Fire Blue was making some comments like, "Fuck Limbo," you know, "Be with me instead." Fire Blue was uh was trying to trying to trying to take your man, you know. <laughs> you gonna let him do that, Limbo? You gonna let him just take me away? <laughs> we have a love, we have a love triangle going on right now, man. <laughs> oh shit. 
<laughs> yeah, the phone lines are open, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, fuck out of here, Mrs. Potato Head. You don't even have a chance. Oh, Diamond Life in the building. What's up, man? I just finished watching your uh, American women are disgusting as fuck, and I never want to do anything except pump and dump them video. It was pretty good. I commented on it, too. By the way. And uh, the phone lines are open. Anyone wants to call in. Oh, what's up, Ghostface? Yo, Limbo, I want you to fight Fire Blue for me. I want you to use your uh, crystal ice mirrors and your fucking needles, and I want you to just stab the shit out of Fire Blue for me. Yeah, for real, Diamond Life. Bro, Diamond Life, man, I have, like, the fucking Terminator scanner vision. Like, when I go out in public... Like, I see women is with, like, my green laser beam eyes and, like, numbers above their head. And it's, like, not a virgin, not a virgin, does not compute, will not commit to, not virgin, worthless vessel, uh, uh, scanning, scanning, nothing, nothing. It, that's, like, what I see, like, when I'm looking at women out in public now. Like, maximum value, pump and dump, you know, maximum value, deliver penis, like, that's it, like. Mm. that vision it's like these are not the droids you're looking for bro my like dude like i don't know what it is but my misogynistic whatever the fuck is um wait what are you saying diamond life you watch amateur shit vids dudes like me putting vids of their slut american girlfriends over girl sees it shit porn up yo yeah diamond life bro like when i'm out in public now because I can tell, I can tell a virgin just by looking at her. I can tell if she's not, which is almost everyone I see. I just view them as like straight up fucking dog shit. Like I don't know if I'm becoming a real chauvinist or whatever, but any girl I see out in public now that I know isn't a virgin is just like total garbage to me. Like straight up fucking trash, you know? Straight up fucking like wor like worthless. Like I don't hate them as as a hu I don't I don't hate them on a human level, but I just view them as like like a fucking worthless. I don't know, like just like fucking garbage, like expired milk, you know. Like I cannot put my energy. I cannot build this with this creature, you know. Ghostface, you don't talk shit about my woman. I'll crack I'll crack skulls open. Any of you talk shit about Limbo, you're getting a fucking beaten. Yeah, they're just shit, Diamond Life. It's just like a fucking, I don't know, it's just like a car without an engine in it or something. It's like, I can't fucking drive this long term, you know? I can't, I can't commit to this shit. You almost want to laugh. You're like, I can't commit to you. <clears throat> yeah, Ghostface, you better fucking check yourself, man. Yeah, pretty much, Diamond Life, pretty fucking much. Pretty much. It's like the game is over before it starts, you know? You know? Pretty much. Nobody talks to my queen like that. No wifey's left that day's gone. Oh, shit, yeah. That, that day was over before you and me were even born, bro. That shit was over before it started, man. Anyways, the phone lines are open if anyone wants to call in, man. What am I not on? It goes on, on, on. What a rebel, yeah. We got more, more, more. Oh, oh, oh.
Ghostface, you better bat the fuck off. That ass is mine exclusively. I'll fucking shank every last one of you motherfuckers. Y'all come at my woman. 50, 50 motherfuckers in the chat. I'm shanking everybody. Limbo was my main squeeze. On the river, yeah. It goes more, more, more. Karama, what's mine is yours and vice versa. Fuck no. What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. <laughs> I think the best women are 50 and over. Oh, that's awesome for Dare. Yo, Jason, that's fucking awesome. He got full custody. My man. Shit. That's a fucking major victory. <laughs> oh, man. I, I need... Yo, Diamond Life, bro. Let's go get us a couple of golden girls, bro. Yo, Diamond Life, man. Let's go hit up, like, the fucking... Uh, retirement homes and some shit and go match on some fucking golden girls bro just some old bitches man pussy lips are, are fucking looser than dumbo the elephant's ears bro you can stretch that shit out bro you can make like a fucking you can make wings out of that shit bro that's fucking wings man you can fly with those fucking lips man you know <laughs> you can make a hat oh shit man <laughs> Yo, man, if you're fucking an old bitch, and she has, and she and she has a heart attack while you're fucking her, is that technically murder? Did you technically kill the pussy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We got the meats. <laughs> Arby's, we got the meats. <laughs> it's not meat curtains, it's like fucking meat blankets. Crawler, you're on the air. Hey, is um, and, um, is, um, with, um, eh, eh, is, a eh, um, can you, um, when, um, eh, huh, huh? What do you do if um, yeah. what is that called again? Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, um, the, uh, you, um, the, 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 what's the next thing you do if Tinder doesn't work? If, if what doesn't work, that, that Tinder, that I do not know what you are saying, what do I do? Oh, oh, no, no. no, no. So what's the next thing you do if Tinder doesn't work? If Tinder doesn't work, you start robbing hookers. <laughs> There's no hookers at gunpoint. Violence. You start robbing hookers at gunpoint if Tinder doesn't work. <laughs> but there's no hookers while <laughs> Alright, then you start robbing kids for their lunch money. <laughs> you know, punch them in the mouth. Start punching them in the mouth with a roll of quarters, too. Makes perfect sense to me. Exactly. <laughs> so I heard that. You, um, and um, you heard what that we did, what? Because I don't that, know that what you, you are saying, saying right now. I can't saying. understand when you stutter with me. I don't know what to do when you're talking like that. I don't know what the fuck if you stutter. <laughs> Well, Korma, uh, I'm going to seal you up since you are the nine tails. Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, man, uh, I just wanted to say hi. No. So, uh, farewell. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Potato Head, for calling me. I really like you when you call me on my last name, Mrs. Potato Head. All right. <clears throat> Always love it, Mrs. Potato Head calls. Anyways, the phone lines are open if anyone wants to call in. Who the fuck is getting blocked 80 times, bro? Jeez, bro, easy, Crazy E is a fucking drive-by sniper, bro. He just fucking kills everyone, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus.
Fifty dollars, Jay. You have to pay me fifty dollars to call into the show. Some fat bitch. <laughs> fucking Mrs. Potato had to stutter an ass, bro. Every fucking call he's stuttering like a motherfucker, bro. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, Satanic Midtow in the building. It's like a fucking legendary Pokemon popped in. Anyways, it has the phone number the phone lines open if you want to call in. Oh, what's up, Gary? Phone lines are open, everybody. Bro, I feel like this this chat we have is like the show Cheers, bro. Everybody knows each other, you know, when everyone sees each other. Oh, Kenneth Lane, man, it's been a minute. Shit, all the fucking OGs are popping up right now, man. God damn, like back to back. Fucking A, man. This is like fucking Cheers in here. Fucking Satanic Midtown Watson. Oh, what's going on, man? Fucking Diamond Life Watson. Hey. Fucking Survive Toller Watson. Oh, um, 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 Mrs. Potato Head. You know, we got the fucking whole crew in here tonight, man. Shit. Shit. And of course, I got my main girl, Limbo. My ride or die. <clears throat> Caller, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Kalama? What's up, man? Uh, yeah, I just had a quick question since your phone line is open. Um, because... You know, I read about, I read a lot about those girls, you know, that they, they like to sleep around, yeah. you know, they, 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 they fuck alpha guys and stuff like that. But like, if you go online, right, like every girl is looking for a relationship. <laughs> like that's what they, that's what they put in their profile. So, yeah. you know, sometimes you want to talk to the girl and you say, Hey, you know, I want to have a one night stand or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you know, it's like, Oh, you know, they're looking for a relationship. So what's your take on that? You know, bro, um, here's my experience, man. Ever since I got good at getting laid, I stopped being able to get girlfriends. Because girls have two different guys, right? They have the guy they fuck, and then they have the guy they date long term. Um, and the guys they date long term are just the guys they use for money and dinners and attention and resources and, like, you know, emotional security and shit. So... When girls say they're looking for a boyfriend, it means they're just looking for a fucking entertainer, bitch. All right? That's that's what that means. So if you want to be that, if you want to take her to the fucking Olive Garden and spend $200 on tiramisu and shit, then you'll get tons of girlfriends, you know? But if you want to just get laid, you just tell them I want to get laid. Now, yeah, like, yeah, that's the last thing I want to be. I don't want to be that kind of guy, you know? I, I rather be the one that you know, goes... Get straight to the point, and you know I don't know what I want. Yeah, you know, I don't want to wind and dine these bitches. You know, no. So you're not gonna have girlfriends then, bro. You're just gonna have fucking casual sex partners. Yeah, but then like you know, because the thing is, like I also noticed that like do you have like a stagnation periods? Like for example, you know, you may go and say fucking months without you know getting laid, and then you have one month when you like have two three girls that you know you can actually fuck because that's what I don't like actually. You know, because if you have a girlfriend, so you want you yeah. sex. Yeah, but it's it's not really worth it, bro, because she wants other shit besides sex. So you're kind of like paying for the sets when you have a girlfriend. Cause she's going to want you to do little fucking stuff with her. And she's going to want you to hang out with her and watch movies with her and all this other shit. That's just a huge waste of time. So you're kind of paying for the sets with your time. You know what I'm saying? You're better off, bro, just having a, a three or four casual sets girls that you have in rotation. And when one doesn't want to come fuck you, the other one will. Well, okay, so so now, okay, so now you're saying, okay, you have a rotation. So like, how do you keep those girls, you know, interested? You since, can't. You know, Here's the thing, bro. Can't. You don't have any control. These women are fickle. There's no. I have no fucking uh, magical Bill Cosby, bippity boppity boopity pudding pop fucking strategy 
to keep these women. You just want to have so many of them if you want to have casual sets that when one of them is too busy, another one will come and fuck you. If she's too busy, another one will come fuck you. If she's fucking, uh, if one of them just stops being interested in you, another one will come fuck you. That's all you can do. There's no, there isn't, isn't much you can do to keep them so interested because they have so many fucking guys hitting them up. So you need to be hitting up so many fucking women and have so many of them in your rotation if you want to be the nonstop sets guy. Um, that's that's the only way to do it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right. It's just like, you know, it's, sometimes it's frustrating where when, you know, you've messaged 100 girls and, you know, sometimes you might not even get a, you know, decent response. And sometimes it fucks with your head. What do you say? Like, well, do you, I don't, it sounds like you don't know how to message them, bro. It sounds like you're trying to, like, have conversations and shit. All right, bro? If you want casual sets, every, every first message you should be should be like, Hey, I'm just looking for sets. Hey, I'm just trying to fuck. Hey, I'm just looking for something casual. And you spam that shit to like a hundred bitches. All right. And then you get one that'll come fuck you. And then you save her number and say, Hey, when you want to do this again, hit me up. And then you do that two or three more times. And then you got the fucking rotation. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. But, and I also, uh, I also heard that, you know, you're, you're pretty much, so you only gaming girls online at this point. Pretty much. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't walk up to bitches and be like, Hey, I thought I would, you know, fuck that. I got other shit to do, man. So, so, but now let me ask you this. So what would have happened if for some reason you, you weren't able to, uh, you know, message girls online? I mean, let's say, you know, like uh, if they shut Tinder down or. Well, I'm luckily sorry. that hasn't happened yet, bro. I've been using Tinder since 2014, and that shit has not happened yet. So even if they did shut Tinder down, someone would just make a new app. Because you got to understand, bro, this generation is so antisocial and bad at communicating. There's always going to be a new dating app because people don't know how to talk to each other anymore. So that's not really ever going to be a problem. Okay. Well, yeah, because, you know, I was even today, I was looking through some, you know, online profiles of these girls. You know, it's pretty much the same fucking... Bro, don't story, even look you know? at their profiles, bro. I don't even... Bro, I don't even fill out my own profile, and I don't even look at girls' profiles because I'm so busy spam messaging them. I don't care about their fucking profiles. You're just coming over to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, oh, well, I went to this college. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I, I'm not, I'm not going to date you. So, And I, I have 10 of you. Why would I look at your profile? As long as the first picture looks decent, I'm sending her a message. You know, uh, that's looking at a profile shit takes too long, bro. No, I mean, yeah, it does, it does. It's just that the fact that, you know, like all they say is fucking, you know. Bro, stop reading what they're guy, saying, bro, because that shit's in a fuck with your head because they're so mediocre and it's going to piss you off. Stop looking at their profiles and just start spam messaging the fuck out of all of the ones that you want to bang, okay? And then go back to handling your man business and wait for them. You, bro, you, you want to know how I do it? I don't even start messaging girls till like 10 o'clock at night. I message them from like 10 o'clock to midnight because that's when they're most likely to hook up. Okay. So I spend all, I spend like, I, I match with girls all day. I match with 20, 30 girls all day. And then I don't start messaging them till like 10 o'clock at night when I know they're ready to get their freak on. Okay. And then, um, if I message like 20, maybe one of them will say, yeah, okay, I'll come over, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Somebody said in the chat, you know, don't read the shit they write. They yes, fuck that shit, them. bro. They all say the same like three different things, bro. Fuck that conversation shit. All right, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get to know a used up whore. Are you? Well, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm only here to fuck and dump. Okay, then so don't. Then, then that doesn't matter. Then don't read that shit. You know. But uh, w w what do you think about like? Because you know, like. He, I mean, you know, they say that oh, a lot of women want that emotional connection with a the man. They don't. They, fucking... they don't. They don't know how to handle that shit. They've already been ran through. Their emotions are already fucked up for life, and they're never going to be able to bond with you. So get that yeah, shit talking, out of your head. talking mainly about women that have been already plowed by like 20 guys or something. You yes. Know, Which is every single one you're talking to on Tinder. Well, I mean, this is the thing. Like, I, I would never, you know, in my, I would never in my own life, you know, wanted to, you know, have a girlfriend from that I met online. Yet, I won't marry her. You know, I know what these girls are all about. You know, especially in the West. Yeah. So it's 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 you know, 
only for me to, you know, pump and dump. That's about it. Okay, so then why are you asking me all these relationship type questions? Like, why do I read her profile like this? And how come she can't bond with me? You shouldn't give a fuck if you're just trying to pump and dump, bro. Well, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm confused sometimes because, you know, there's, there's certain people say one thing, you know, uh, like I said. Don't listen to what women say, say like, bro. You know, Don't listen to what women say. Look, Listen to what they do. And what she's doing is putting herself on a, on a website that is notorious for hooking up. Okay? Sorry. That's So look, don't listen to what she's saying. Look at what she's doing, man. I'm going to try to take some other calls. Appreciate the call, man. All right, brother. All right, man. Call from. <clears throat> Caller, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Luke Donnelly calling up. Um... I kind of wanted to ask, like, about the workplace, with yes. women in the workplace, and they ask to uh, hang out, and what do you usually do in that situation? They ask to hang out. Like, women in the workplace want to hang out, you know, you okay. work with them, no, you can't really say, no, I don't hang out with women, well, because you know, you're working with them. But do you want to fuck her? Let's just be, let's just cut the bullshit. Do you want to fuck the girl that says, do you want to hang out? Like, I'm guessing this happened to you, so do you, is she hot? Do you want to bang yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, this is. And I mean, um, I've had both words, like, uh, you know, there's women that I kind of want to get with, but I work with them, so I try to keep my distance, and there's others okay. where I just, you know. I... Well, here's what you do, man. It depends on how much you value the job. If it's a piece of shit job that you don't really give a fuck about, yeah, fuck that bitch. Take her to a bar, do whatever you want to do. But if it's like a real high-level job, and you're making a real nice salary, and this shit has real potential, no, you don't, uh, you absolutely do not fuck with them. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So that, so that's that's so, what it's about, man. You know. So if it, so uh, if it's a high level job, then you're better off just not even. Yes. Being with them. No. Now, if it's the high now, level, if it's a yeah. job where you can pump and dump it, then I guess it wouldn't matter. Yes. It's be a different job. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. If it's like some fucking little twenty thousand dollar call center job, fuck all the hoes in there. But if you're like the fucking assistant VP of fucking super duper technology company and you're driving like a fucking Tesla and you've got the fucking penthouse suite apartment, nah, bro. You should be attracting other bitches like from other walks of, you know, from other areas and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was just hearing what you were telling the other dude a little bit ago. I mean, Tinder, if anything, works, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, it's not like works the only spot, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate that, man. And uh, I enjoy your videos, too. Uh, I've watched maybe, like, five to ten of them. Uh, nice. My favorite ones, uh, everyone gets a turn. I think that's important yeah. and uh, pretty funny. Yeah, that's the truth, though, man. But, uh, yeah, thank you, man. That's all I really had to ask. Definitely. Appreciate the call, man. All right, peace. All right. <laughs> Limbo, who are you talking to? I'm the only person you should be talking to, Limbo. I'm your man. All right? You're not allowed to talk to anyone of these other guys. I'm keeping you under tight control, Limbo. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Karama? How you what's doing? Up? What's up, boss? Hey, you know... Uh, I got I got kicked off of fucking like Tinder and shit. Cause yeah. Not kicked off, but I was just uh, messaging bitches like, "Hey, you want to fuck?" So you got you got to be like uh, more chill about it, like you say. You know, you know, you say. Wait, you got kicked off Tinder? Not kicked off. I got I got like blocked for a day. Holy shit! I've never even had that happen. Yeah, because I was just like, "Oh, you want to fuck?" You know, and then so I guess some bitches just want to cock block me and shit. shit. You can just make a new it's Tinder in like though, 10 minutes, though, with a different email address or some shit. Yeah. Well, it was on, a, it was on another dating website called Meet Me, and they fucking blocked me for a day and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, just probably some bitch just trying to fucking cock block and shit, shit. you know? That's crazy. Yeah. But it's funny, dude. They, they'll, they'll go on your profile. You gotta, bro, you got like some fucking chickens and roosters back there, like making like fucking noises, bro? What is that? It's probably, I, I probably was messaging some ugly chicks. What the fuck is that? Right here, like a cock, a cock in the fucking background. What is that? You living in a barn, oh, man? Those are my parrots. Uh, are, yeah, oh, yeah, parrots. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. yeah sorry. No, yeah, that. I, I, I hate when it's noise. I just, I was like, what? Well, I, 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 it's not bothering me. I'm just like, where the fuck does this guy live? Like, you live on a fucking, <laughs> you live in a fucking shed or something? Like a, like a, a, a chicken coop? I'm like, oh, shit. Shit. Hey, but I was going to say, Hey, but for me, 
like what works for me is Instagram. Like uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll add a ton of people all day nonstop because I, I, I like to uh, make instrumentals and I try to push my music. Yeah. I don't even care if I make it or not, dude. Like I, I live a good life anyways. I don't know. I feel you. Shit. I feel but, dude, some of these people that I'll follow back will end up like fangirls and like I'll even show you guys messages and shit, dude. Like <laughs> girls, like, like I, I find it easier getting girls through Instagram and Tinder and all yeah. that other shit, you know? I've never done Instagram. I just, uh, I like to stay anonymous. I feel like Instagram, like they're going to know who you are and sh- I don't know. But if it works for you, man, yeah. go for it, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying to the other guys, you know, the guys that are listening and shit, like, all I do is I add a ton of people and then I'll remove them all. And then I'll add them again and I'll remove them all. And my following will grow and grow and grow. Yeah. Like I've had accounts that go up to like 20,000 followers. Like I had like up to 25,000 followers. Then I'll delete them all over. Yeah. And I just say that to the guys out there, you know, because the girls like the big profiles. They like the followers. They like to see that you got followers and shit too. It makes, yeah. it makes them think that you're popular. I guess. <laughs> shit, dude. Well, uh, I love your videos, man. They're Appreciate really awesome that. Shit. Appreciate you know, that. A lot of guys, like, you know, they, they try to speak like they're very intellectual. And I would, I, uh, I hope they don't do that with the girls. Like, nah. talk like, like, you know, <laughs> don't talk like, you know, no, just, no. Yeah, just, just talk like a piece of shit. Exactly. Like, like, yo, bitch. Learn some more slang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, guys gotta learn some more slang, dude. They they sound so beta. Like they're, they're just yeah. by the way they speak, you can tell they're Absolutely. beta. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the truth, man. <laughs> absolutely. All right, dude. Well, I I'll let you get on. You know. Appreciate the problem. Hey, use Instagram. Exactly, right, guys. <laughs> All Absolutely, Ghostface. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. Fucking. That should have me dying too, man. Shit. Yo, Diamond Life, OK Cupid sucks, bro. Tinder's the only good one. I'm not doing crows, Limbo. What the fuck? Pick a real fucking topic. I'm going to fucking strangle you, man. I swear to God. And you'll probably like it, too, because it'd be some kinky dominatrix shit. But I'm going to fucking strangle you, Limbo. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, man, this is Noah from Maryland. Uh, my buddy, Satanic Mick Dick Cal sent me. Oh, shit. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to finish off my divorce here. But, oh, uh, shit. I've been injured and I've been, like, dying in an apartment for a long time, like, yeah. suffering. Oh, and uh, just kind of ignored by everybody. Uh, my ex is, you know, kind of just saying, you know, you got your job and, like, kind of beat me down. I'm like, I'm handicapped and I'm disabled and, you know, I couldn't do anything at the time. And uh, I'm, do- I'm doing better now, so don't feel sorry for me. But, uh, before I wasn't, and it took me to get like uh, the state to come in and take a look at my living conditions, and then finally, when it's towards the end of me living there in the transition period, I was thrown. Uh, I was thrown into like the VA system uh, by her. Basically, she talked me into going into it, and it was a horrible system. And I quickly got out of it. But do you find that a lot of men are still like not only killed off by these women, but like then? It's not good enough that you kill them, but then you want to bury them and leave, you know, some more torture in there so that they just die like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying. I don't understand what you're talking about. You gotta. Um... Okay, let, let me go again. Okay, so uh, at the end of the divorce is coming up here in a, a week, or, yeah. I believe. Okay, so but at towards the end of our transition period, I was like handicapped. Yes. For a year, for a year right. dying in an apartment all by myself. Right. And she wouldn't believe that I was this handicapped. I couldn't even get to the kitchen to get myself food. Mm. And uh, I uh, finally, the state came in. You know, you get people to come in and do health and welfare checks, and they told her this guy's bad off. Right. So instead of helping me move on with my life, she sends me to the VA 
like a, you know, for like a homeless program. And it was like, it was horror. It was a horrific show. So I got back out of that real quick. Uh -huh. But is it, is it, do you find it that the women, not just, it's not just good enough to destroy a man who's a loving man in a marriage, but afterwards to just keep like, it's not, it's not enough to kill him. But then once he's buried, you, they want to leave something to torture them in the grave. <laughs> what did she leave to torture you? Uh, I mean, like, you know, sending me to this VA program and stuff, like, you know, talking me into going to it. And well, it was, I think she's just know, trying to move like, on to the next guy because she's selfish and wants to, you know, carry on with her life. Wants to, uh, like, bury, like, bury me so I can't talk to other people. No, I, I think you're just taking it in a, fu you're just taking it in too much of a, like, fucking evanescence fucking song lyrics direction she's not thinking about burying you and then i fucking put mulch on the body and then wake me up inside wake me she's just like i want to go fuck another guy now it's not like this deep fucking uh you know fucking save me from the dark like you're taking it like way too fucking deep man you know Oh, she ran out there fucking another guy a week after I yeah. got out of house. Yeah, so it's not year. about you. It's just about, like, she's like, my time is running out. I need some new dick. I need a new provider. This guy's fucking crippled now. He's fucking worthless to me, like fucking forced jump. And I need a fucking uh, sucker I can, you know, live off of. I got you. That's all it is. It's not I fucking, like, Evanescence Lairds and shit, like, fucking, now you will know what I've done for you. <laughs> 50,000 tears I've cried. I'm going under. Like, it's not that fucking deep, bro. <laughs> she's just a selfish it was bitch. Broken, she's wanted to move on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, thanks for getting my head straight on that one, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. Appreciate it. All right. All right. All right, Satanic. Talk to you later, buddy. All right. Jesus Christ. This guy's, like, trying to fucking, like... And when she sucked the soul out of my body, did she knew that she would sacrifice it to Lord Voldemort for infinite wisdom? I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, nah, bro. The bitch just was like, ah, uh, he's worthless to me. I need some. I need a new guy to live off of. Like, it's like, I will have eternal youth once I sacrifice his soul to Lord Voldemort. I'm like, what? What the fuck are we talking about here? Limbo sucks my soul every night. Oh, yeah, guys, let's hit those lights up, man. We got 74 watching and 41 lights. Let's hit those lights up, man. As many as we can, man. Pimp slapper, Guara, mate. Get those lights up, baby. Appreciate that, Luke. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. God damn it, Limbo. I can't stop doing fucking foods, man. I can't do an applesauce video. How the fuck is that going to work? Jesus Christ, bro. You're fucking killing me, man. You're, you're raising my fucking blood pressure, Limbo. I swear to God. I'm going to have a fucking stroke soon. What's going on, JJ? I don't even eat applesauce, bro. <clears throat> what the fuck? Fucking pissing me off. God. Yo, Diamond Life, man. Tinder's the one that works for me the best, bro. The other ones suck. The other ones are horrible.
Jachari, if you want a video on education, man, just shoot me a 20 on Patreon. I'll I'll knock that out for you. I give Limbo the strudel every night, Joe Space. Yes, Fire Blue. You have to put your face on the Tinder profile, obviously. Yeah, bro, you have to have the location on. Diamond Man, that's the only way it works. You know? What do you have, Ghostface? <clears throat> Fucking cock-sucking piece of shit. Motherfucker. You're fucking done. I fucking banned his ass forever. Piece of shit. I have one fucking rule, you fucking bitches. I have one motherfucking rule. And he fucking broke it. Yo, Crazy E just fucking, like, pumps rounds into the dead bodies, bro. Like, Crazy E just keeps shooting, bro. We never talk about one fucking topic. I don't even want to speak on it. Cocksucking piece of shit. Easy, Midtown Loner. You're getting fucking dangerously close, man. Getting dangerous so close. Diamond Life, we never talk about the flat earth shit. Anyone who talks about that shit gets fucking banned. I hate that shit. It's the stupidest fucking concept in the world. I'll ban you motherfuckers on sight. It's open, man. If you want to call in and shit. Wake me up inside. <clears throat> Wake me up inside. I am so white. Oh my god. It's so hard being white. It's so tough being white. It's so fucking hard when you are white. I am freaking white. Limbo, I'm gonna. Oh my fucking god, Limbo! I'm gonna. Oh Jesus fucking! I have like um. God damn it! I would punch you right now, but I love you too much. God damn it! I love conspiracies, but that one isn't even interesting. It's retarded, man. Oh my god, I'm white. Oh my god, I'm white. Save me from being so white. I've got too much privilege, right? So much privilege, right? It's so fucking hard to be so white. I know, I can't. I can't hurt him, man. I want to punch him in the fucking face sometimes, but it's just like... It's just I can't do it, man, you know? Appreciate that, Mr. Wolfbane. Can't do it, you know. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> that white guilt out there is heavy. <clears throat> This isn't fucking, um, uh, this isn't fucking steak and shake, bitch. We don't have fucking burgers here. You know, this isn't fucking sizzler, man. We don't have a buffet for your ass, Kelly. Fuck out of here with that shit. Appreciate that, Mr. Wolf Ben. God damn it. Phone line's open if anyone wants to call in. <clears throat> God, fucking ghost face is bad. God damn it. God damn you. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <clears throat> Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Karama, thanks for the video, by the way. Oh, is this show, is this Strawberry? Yes, it is. Oh, hey. Yeah, I hope oh, you, hello, hope you liked it. Hey, you? Strawberry Sagan. Hey. Put a little whipped cream on yeah, those I... nipples. So, uh, yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Pretty much, though, I did really did need that video because mm. I've been having a lot, quite a bit of problems with my work recently. Yeah. Yeah, it's really annoying because I figured, oh, oh, okay. I'm off duty and my badge is hidden. Go up to a, a customer. Conversation went well. Asked her out. Mm. Got her number and everything. Now all of a sudden I have a couple complaints on me. So nice. I'm a little fucking irritated. Nice. My man. Yeah. Fun my stuff. Man. Jesus. Yeah, it's really annoying. I can't even do anything. I just feel like con I have eyes are constantly on me. Oh, yeah. You fucking keep it in your pants, you fucking pervert. Oh, oh, put your dick in all these women. Put your fuck. Keep it in your pants. You keep it in your pants. Fucking pervert. Oh no, it's really funny because um, referencing to that video, <laughs> um, the store I go to every Wednesday and Thursday, there's a fucking bunch of beta males ogling this one girl. Hmm. It's like, am I literally the only one with the balls enough to ask her out? May we sniff your <laughs> panties, madam? These are pathetic. This is yeah. pathetic. Yeah. So have you ever had an issue like that or you just... Not really, bro. I've never know. really fucked with shits from my job. I just fucked bitches after my job. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah, the last job I had, it worked well. I asked the girl out at work. Had a little... <sighs> benefits thing for a month and a half, so... Things went well. Yeah. Then they found out and decided to fuck with me. I yeah, man. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying this. It's not worth it. You know, fucking business and bitches don't mix like two dicks and no they don't. bitch. I don't, but just the most attractive ones, the ones I'm actually interested in, usually show up when I'm working. It's like, God, you're tempting me. No, I just get bitches out the job, man. There's there's millions of bitches out there, bro. Oh, I know. No, no, it's not even the ones I work with. It's the customers that are that keep showing up. The ones that I work with are just, mm, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, like um, the one I was working with. <laughs> oh, shoot. I just asked her a couple of just very small questions. She literally chewed my ear up for like 10 minutes just going on about her life and how about her ex-boyfriend all that like thinks I'm a slut and everything I'm just thinking to myself oh red flag not yeah, touching you absolutely like oh, oh, oh you're too good to be true absolutely Staying away. absolutely dude you seem really tired Long I seem tired something? no I mean I don't have it I don't have a fucking argument for what you said that's why I'm just agreeing with you Oh, you're just like, yeah. No, I mean, there's, I mean, that that shit happens, bro. When you fucking ask out girls at the job, they take it fucked up, and then they report you, and then it's like shit. That's why I did the video for you. So now you know not yeah, to do that I shit. I appreciate that. Yeah. So now you don't have to, you know, worry about, you know, what shit to yeah. dodge. You just keep them all at a distance, you know. <clears throat> the sad thing is without the whole feminism things they should actually just take it as a compliment and leave it like that but nope they're all they're retarded bro. There's no, you're thinking like the see man's biggest problem is that he thinks women are logical like us so they're, they don't think like you do bro they don't have all these good ideas and shit you know I know <laughs> they think of strictly of their emotions yes and that's the one thing you gotta learn how to think of your emotions when you're talking to them but do it in a way that's actually in more control over yourself right. rather than what they're doing. If you're doing exactly what they're doing, it's not going to end too well for nah. you. Absolutely not. So. Absolutely. Definitely. So is there any good conversations? Because I literally just got onto your live stream. Well, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? We can break. talk about whatever you want to talk about. Tell us your problems. You want to, you want, you, you want to know my fucking problem? <clears throat> sure. Fucking limbo. Oh. Fucking limbo gives me twenty dollars for a Patreon video the same way you did. But he can't fucking pick a topic that I can actually do a video on. I said, Limbo, what do you want your fucking video on? He's like pumpkin pie. I'm like, Limbo, I can't fucking do a midtow video on pumpkin pie. So he's like, All right, all right. What about apple juice? I'm like, what the fuck? How am I gonna do a video on apple juice? He's like the guy's trolling. Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking goddamn fucking guy. He gave me the money, but I just can't do a fucking video on apple juice, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> on a diff yeah, on a different note, outside the whole thing, I actually talked to a girl last year, everything. Mm. She pulled the whole, I got a guy that I'm dating. Can we just be friends? I'm like, nah, nah, bitch. I don't think so. No, nah, fuck that shit. Yeah, and then I just called her up like literally a week ago. Like, you know what? Let's get together. For a drink tonight, or on Saturday. Jesus Christ. This, today. Yeah, so we're going to be meeting at 9.30 after I get off work, so we'll see what happens. Oh, my man, so you actually got the date. Yep, I do. I keep oh, going, man. Karam. I'm Shit, not going to sit around for one moment. Big no. fucking pimping There's millions out there. Big fucking pimping. My man. I'm proud. Yeah, fuck this. It's not a beta male simp cunt. God damn. I got goals. Shit. Shit. Fucking... Inspiration to all of us. Get, do you ever get like your like? What is one way to actually deal with um, your close friends that are still in the beta male or blue pill stages? How do you tolerate them without wanting to rip their face off? I just don't talk to them. No, okay, so you just distance. Gotcha. I assume they tried to pull you right back into the pen as well. Pretty much, yeah. Bro, let's go to the fucking strip club, bro. Fucking make it rain on some strippers, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'd rather keep my money. Thanks, though. I'll give her, like, a penny. I'll throw a fucking sack of quarters at her ass. Like, <laughs> like at her fucking head. <laughs> like, I'll throw, like, a bag of fucking nickels at her. <laughs> just throw them and try to hit her ass. Fucking, like, throw it like a baseball. Throw it like a fucking <laughs> baseball. You know? Yeah. 
It's like, no, I'll, I'll give you a penny. No, no, I'm not Jesus. feeding your ego. You way too many freebies. Exactly. Oh, it's really funny because I actually tried using her methods and just kind of just give her shit and just yes. not really give her a lot of attention. Exactly. She's just constantly asking me questions. There you go. Why are you bothering me? I don't. Yeah, you're attractive, but. No, you Why just, isn't okay. your mouth on my Fuck penis up. is what I'm trying to figure Like when they just keep talking and talking, then I went to the mom like, yeah, you know, that's not where your mouth should be right now. It's just, I don't know. This doesn't feel mm. right. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. No, it should I be got like this really bad itch. A couple only you feet can lower. Here, you're just go a, down. You're just a couple feet too high right now. I know you're talking about your day and shit, but that's not where your mouth should be. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, uh, tried to tell a couple of my friends about you, and he's just. He saw the whole polluted womb and everything. He's just like, I don't know what to think about this guy. It's, that's so very offensive, man. Like, bro, 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 bro. <clears throat> that's very fucking offensive, man. That guy obviously just fucking hates women, bro. You can't fucking listen to that, bro. My girlfriend's been smoking cigarettes for 20 years. She's fine, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's Mr. Virgin, doesn't want to get laid. Because he, wants, he, thinks that, he thinks that he wants to be like, has to get like the amazing body. He's like, Aww. oh, I could do it. I don't want to because I don't feel like I deserve it. Oh, Spencer, you're retarded. That's nice. That's nice, hon. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And it's just getting to the point where I'm just, you know, excelling with my personal endeavors and he's just sitting there. And I'm starting to really question, like, do I even want to be friends with this guy anymore? Is he just going to hold me back? Hey, man, I've had to turn a lot of people off, man. That's, li that's life when you go red, though, man. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, I'm still like in the purple stages. Like, yeah, I know women can change, but the likelihood of them changing very unlikely, yeah. unless something huge happens. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, man, I appreciate you answering my questions. Absolutely. Pretty fun. Keep up the good work. I'll probably send you another twenty for another video when I can think of something better than orange juice or pumpkin pie. Jesus, or, or, or fucking bleach, bro. He said he he requested bleach too. Oh yeah. Bleach, bleach -like well, hey, man, yeah, whenever you're ready, bro, I got another sure, video yeah. for you, man. So just, you know, let me know. Right. I'm, I'm always ready. Take care. All right. Appreciate the call, man. You see, you see, you're saying I sound tired? I'll tell you what I'm fucking tired of. I'm tired of fucking Limbo giving me these bullshit-ass video ideas. That's what I'm fucking tired about, Papa Bear. Everybody's a fucking credit. Yes, Limbo. Are you ready for something serious now? Or are you going to talk more fucking bullshit, Limbo? Okay, what's the topic, Limbo? What's the fucking topic? Okay.
Can't wait to hear it. Yeah, I'm about to get the super chat, bro, real soon, man. Until then, hit me up on Patreon. <laughs> Solitary confinement. A little bit, you're fucking giving me these bullshit ass topics that I can't fucking do anything with. You know, you're making me fucking want to get abusive and shit. <clears throat> What the fuck do you want, Limbo? What do you want? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should just get married and then I won't have this problem. I'll just go find a wife. And then I won't have to fucking do this shit anymore. You know? Yo, Midtown Loner, Ghost is back. He got a new name or some shit. Man up, Karama. Fuck. What's up, Spectre? Jesus Christ. All right, fine. Whatever, Limbo. I'll figure some shit out. And I'll just lie that you suggested it, all right? Fuck it. Whatever, man. Whatever. Panda, the code fund is uh, right here, man. I got over my coke habit though. Now it's just uh it's just like the fun, I don't know. Oh my fucking god, Limbo. Whatever, man. Whatever, bro. Oh, solid Nate in the building. <clears throat> yeah, Chewbacca Carbo, let's do some meth. <clears throat> Ghost face. <laughs> oh, shit. I hope you learned your fucking lesson, man. I don't tolerate that shit. You know that. Uh. That's what's up, man. She's already cold. Limbo, I'm the fucking top. You're the bottom. How would I be the doll? Thank <laughs> you. 
Fucking dolls. What's going on, Jerry? I know what you're talking about, man. I don't do threesomes. <laughs> Ghost Face did a lot of time. Ghost Face did like 10 years in jail behind that fucking comment he just made. No limbo, it's Karama plus limbo, not limbo plus Karama. I come first. It's Karama plus limbo. It's the other way around. Karama is top. I appreciate that, Shazuya. That's what's up, man. I'm happy to, to help, you know? Uh, it's loner. I'm just waiting on calls, man. Or if uh, you guys want to talk some shit. Yo, Limbo, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, Limbo, you gotta call in. I've been waiting for this call. Limbo has to call in. Everybody, probably not, Ghostface. Um, yo, everybody, pressure Limbo to call in, man. Start, start shit talking him to call in. Yeah, Limbo, you have to call in. <laughs> Ghostface got timed out. Limbo, you have to call in. Limbo's calling in. How can you not? You don't have a phone? You gotta call in, Limbo. What the fuck does that even mean? Limbo, pick up the phone. Pick up the fucking phone, Limbo. What's up? 
Caller, you're on the air. It's, it's Limbo Migtail. I don't think it is. Limbo doesn't sound I'm like that. Yay. Nah, that's not, that's not him. But I'm Limbo. Nice try, ah. though. <laughs> Limbo, call in. Limbo, crawl in. Fuck that shit, Limbo, crawl in. Pumpkin, you're on the pie. What's up? What's up? What's going on? It's back here. I don't think Limbo's gonna call. I don't think so either. He's being a fucking pussy. Limbo, fucking crawl in. What the fuck, man? God damn it. So what's, what's up? up? What's up, man? I had my headphones on and it was kind of weird. Oh. Hey, man. What's up? How come girls started liking me after I got my doll? After you got your what? My doll. What the fuck does that even mean? What? What does that even mean, your doll? My sex doll. Your sex doll? Oh, you're your doll. Yeah. How, how do they even know you have it? How do they even know you have it? They don't. So how would That's they... That's why I'm asking. You sure this isn't just like in your head? This doesn't really make sense. No, I'm pretty sure, dude. Like, like I'll be at a fucking store or some shit. And then some fucking girls will just be hitting on me. It's fucking annoying. Maybe they can tell you're just in love with someone else since you're in love with the sex doll. And so they're like competing Probably. for your attention, you know? So you know what you should do? You yeah. should just buy like 10 more sex dolls. And then you'll I just, just run, get way dude. more attention from women. Just run. Exactly. Have like sex doll fucking pool parties and shit. You know? No. It'll be all right. My dolls won't do that. I think it'll be. I think it's a good idea. No. I think you should do it. My dolls are innocent. I think you should get like ten more and have them all fuck each other. Bro, I could buy. Fucking new vaginas all the time. Fuck virgins. I feel you. Logic wins. Sex with a doll is epic, man. Bro. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I just, just no host. I just didn't have anything to say. Doll and human? Orgy? No. So, Spectre, you know I'm still waiting on my two grand, right? You know I didn't forget about that. I'm not giving you two grand, man. That's a waste of money. I said you're going to buy me a sex doll. A sex doll? Yes. If I get more money, probably. Mm, I see. Very well, then. Dude, blowjobs are not good with sex dolls. I didn't ask you that. Limbo's dead. Why are you reading my Cause comments? Because it's, it's my stream now. Why are you calling in to read my fucking comments? It's my stream. You think I fucking need that I shit? Over. What? You think I need that shit in my life? It's it's a coast stream. Get now. the fuck out of here. Fucking piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. If Limbo doesn't want to call, then he won't fucking call. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. He's obviously not taking this relationship seriously. You know, so... Fuck it, whatever, I don't care. No, I'm not going to threaten him. I just, you know, it's whatever. If he doesn't want to take it seriously, you know, he's not contributing to the relationship, so fuck it, whatever. You know, it's fine. I'm not petty like that. I'm not going to ban him. But I'm just, you know, it's fine, man. It's whatever. You know, he doesn't want me. He doesn't want me. Fuck it. I'm, you know, what can I do?
you know, it's fine. Obviously, he doesn't love me anymore, so it's all good, you know. It's fine, you know. Life goes on, right? I'll learn to love again, you know, one day. It's fine, you know. I'll live. I'll get by. <laughs> Y'all treating me like Trump. Caller, you're on the air. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, man? Yeah, what's, what's going on, man? Listen, I listen to your videos all the time, man. They've been really therapeutic for me. I just want you to know that, man. Appreciate you're it. You're genius with how you make your videos, man. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, glad, I'm just glad to help, you know? Yeah, man. Listen, uh, I'm new to the whole uh, MGTOW thing, man, but um, I just wanted to talk to you about that, man, because the truth is, I was listening to your show, um, I think it was like last night or something, uh -huh. and you were talking about women, man, and um, you were really insightful what you were saying about, you know, how women are like, you know, completely useless these days, man. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, so, you know, can you go into that a little bit, man? Like, um, I was listening to you and how you were talking yeah, about like, it. And in what way? Like various examples, man. I mean, they're useless in so many ways now, so I, I need like a subcategory, you know? Oh uh, yeah, into. no, man. I'm just saying, like, like in general, because it's, it's it's tough. Because you know, as a man, like, you know, obviously you're interested in women, man. Yeah. You know, unless you're like a fag or something. You know <clears> what, what I mean? Yeah, fucking for so, Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah, so you know, it's hard for a guy because <laughs> like you're interested or whatever in in women. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, what do you do with these girls out here? You know Here's what I mean? The, it's yeah. like they. I mean, bro, these days and age. Say this, it again. This day and age, they weren't raised to have values. They weren't raised to respect and love a man or know how to serve and cook and clean. All they're good for now is fucking sex. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, That's it. I, mean I don't know they're what's not going loyal. on out here, man. They're not like, fucking right? loyal. They're not going to commit to you. Even if you're in a relationship with them, they're not really committing to you. It's just your turn. So they're just good for sex, bro. They've been with a bunch of guys before you. They're going to be with a bunch of guys after you. So it's just fucking, yeah. man. That's it. That's all you're doing. Yeah, man, I, I was listening to you. You were talking about like, um, I think it was like, um, I forgot what what word you used for it. I think you would call like, you know, date them and leave them or something like that, or pump and dump pump or something like them? that. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah, common I'm term. To describe yeah. it the way you said it. <laughs> yeah, pump and dump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's crazy though, man. Because I mean, I, I agree with the whole Nick Town thing as far yeah. as like, you know, just doing your own thing. You know what I mean? Because at Absolutely. the end of the day, like these women, you were saying how like they use you for your money and everything yeah. like that. And I mean, I agree with you, bro. And I mean, I went through that myself based on personal experience. So, I mean, I know it's true, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, and I, I even, like, I had a buddy of mine, man. And, like, you know, he was like, yo, how did it go with that girl, man? You were seeing and everything. <laughs> oh, and I was like, no, nah, I was, it, no, I was like, no, the child. I was like, no, it was good, man. I was talking to him and everything, you know. And then I was like, man, I don't want to tell this guy the truth, man. I'm nah. like, you know, this girl was, like, using me for my money or whatever. Can't you know handle what I mean? the it truth, makes you look bad as a man, you know what I mean? Not really. I mean, that's you're the, she's the one doing the fucked up shit. But he would probably be like, "Well, bro, he probably did something wrong. He probably weren't fucking nice enough. Like, he probably would have come up with some bullshit, you know?" Yeah, because you know what it is, man. Like, I, I I remember what you said. Um, I think it was like last night or something. You were talking uh -huh. about how like you had the Mercedes or something. Yeah. And as soon as she saw it, like yeah. she was like she she got wet like immediately. You know what I'm saying? No, she didn't. She was starting to fucking get distant and try to make me spend money on her before I got the sets. 
Because I had the Mercedes. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it was it's the other way around. Yeah, she like she saw the money or something. Nah, bro. When I was just a swinging dick, she wanted to fuck me. Then when she saw I had a Mercedes, oh, there you go. There you she go. started holding out, you know, and demanding shit. Yeah, there you, there you go. See, I, I, I was a little bit off on that. I apologize, man. It's like I was listening to you, but I think it was like my internet connection or something. Oh, okay. But I was listening to you with that, man. Yeah, I did hear when you were talking about it, though. You yeah, know? yeah. And I think like you made a video about it or something. And I was yeah, yeah. It, I really liked it, man. I appreciate yeah, that. That was one of my favorite videos. Dude. Like I was listening to it, I liked it, and then I was like, I was hoping for like a part two or something because like I heard it, and then I was like, oh, we're well, you know what it's story, from, man. bro. You know what it's from. It's from a live stream I did. The video is from like a three hour live stream, and what I do, yeah, it, yeah. What I do is I, 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 um, I put my live streams on Patreon exclusively, right? And the people who become a thirty dollar right. Patreon, they get access to all my uncut live streams. Um, but the people on YouTube, they just get cut up versions of the live streams, like in video form. So if anyone wants the, you know, the uncut live streams, become a $30 Patreon. You can listen to all my old ones, like uncut right, and right. shit. So, yeah. Yeah, no, def definitely. I mean, I, and I like like, you know, that you can call in and everything. I found it, I found it kind of cool, man. I yeah. saw your number. I was like, oh dude, I'm just going to call in. Man. <laughs> Absolutely. Bro. Him, you know what I mean? Anytime, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know all the details about everything. So, like, you guys described it, like, now, yeah. but I didn't, like, know everything. That's all right. As far right. as it, I would just listen to the videos and everything. Like, you know, I, I listen to them, um, I don't know about, like, web website, but I listen to them off YouTube, man, yes. you know, on the net. And that's just how I listen to them, man. So, right. you know, and I, I and I remember I was listening to one of your streams, man, and this other caller was talking to you, and he was telling you how, how he listened to your videos and how they were insightful, too. So, I figured, yeah, man, if I ever talk to him, man, I'll call him, I'll call him the same thing, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate it. <laughs> that's what I'm here for, man. I'm glad to know that it's working, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like I say, pardon the ignorance, man, but I'm not like a big expert on the whole red pill, blue pill thing. It's just right. like I'm I'm kind of leaning towards MGTOW like by default because, like I said, man, I just can't stand these women out here, man. Like they have these attitudes, <laughs> yeah. man. And, you know, and, and I know your whole thing, you just talk about how like, you know, I think you said like you were like from the Middle East or something yes, and you yes. were describing how you attract certain women and you were like, you were just giving like a lot of like advice, dude. Yes. Like, I don't know if you. I don't know if I'm saying it right or whatever, but I, yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah. heard it that way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully I don't come across like the wrong way or whatever. No, but man. No. In it, any event. No. Yeah. In any event, I was listening to you and everything and it was, it was really cool, man. And I was like, man, you know, like this dude, like the way he talks is like the same way I feel, man. I'm yeah. like, this, this is cool, man. Like, you know, and then I like, I was like, man, this MGTOW thing is cool, man. You know, I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe it should be like that because, you know, this whole feminism thing, that is like a disease. It's bro. not working, man, you know? No, it's a disease, dude. It's like, it's like, you know, I, I mean, like I was raised to respect women and like, you know, I know Mother's Day is tomorrow. Like my mother raised me that way. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, you know, my mother comes from a different generation. Bro. Absolutely. And like, you know, I don't know if you have yes. sisters or whatever, but women... Women, like, dude, I have a cousin who, she's like a sister to me, but she's my cousin, yeah. and she's like, she's like completely different, bro. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And it, I think it's like a cultural thing, man. You know, these women out here are spoiled, bro. Yeah, yeah. And the women from your mother's generation, they were held to a higher standard than the women of today's there generation, you, go, yeah. you know? No, definitely, man. And, 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 I, and I would even say probably your mom, too, man. Like, Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, my mom's you know, like 40. You yeah. how your mom raised you and everything, right? Absolutely. My mom's like 44, 45 or some shit. And we talk to her all the time. And she's like, these, these women your age are nothing like the women from like my generation or my grandparents. Like, it's fucking garbage now, bro. You know, it's dumpster diving. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. And it's, it, yeah. And, it, and it's hard because like me, I'm, I'm 36, man. So yeah. I probably got some years on you. Yeah, I'm so 22. It's like, you know, yeah. So it's like when I was like in my 20s, bro, like we're talking like what I was 22 back, what, like 2004. Yeah. So it was yeah. like a different time, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think it was a different time, honestly. Even back and then, yeah, they I were better. To your, no, I was listening to your video, man. One of, your, one of my favorite videos that, that, that you made, I think it was like a video or something. I call them videos. It's like, uh -huh. with the, um, I forgot what the name of the women died in 2008. Yes. I really love that video. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And I listen to it like all the time, man. It's one of my <laughs> favorites. Like you talk about how like you believe women died in 2008. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, dude, this video is awesome, man. You <laughs> talk about like you know Snapchat and yes. everything, and you know how like women have so many options and everything, and it was yes. really insightful, dude. I'm ha I'm happy I'm happy it resonates with you, man. And I'm sure you know b being yeah. you, you were my age back in the early to mid 2000s, so you were probably seeing women yeah. just as they were dying starting to like lose their values yeah. and shit and then around 08 is when they totally just fucking you know nail in the coffin you know yeah man i mean 
oh eight i was probably what like 26 or some shit i don't yeah. even know man but yeah yeah I'm, I'm like i say i'm 36 now and it's like i'm not like exactly looking to get married bro but i know like i ran into a buddy of mine and me and him graduate the same class you know mm. so i'm talking to him and everything he's talking about some other people that we had that we knew you know and he's like yeah no you're like he got married and everything the homie yeah. and i'm like oh for real and he's like yeah like the the guy's name was a Gerard. And he's like, yo, Gerard got married, man. He has a family and everything. I'm like, oh, real, real cool, man. That's great. You know, and I'm like, yeah, a lot of people our generation is like having kids and family and everything. But like I told him, I said, you know what I mean? I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to suffer because some other people that I knew they fucked up and, and are suffering now. You know what exactly. I mean? Like, I mean, that's their choice. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. You're not jumping off bridges because everyone else is doing it, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know if you ever really like like touched on that in one of your streams but like i think or like one of your videos i think it was like you talk about like you know um like you can have my cancer or something yes, like that yes. another video you make yeah yeah it's kind of yeah, similar now, to that, yeah. i think that's the name of it right i'm trying yes. to remember like that's you the exact about how, like, you, know, yeah. you can like you can have my cancer i don't yes, want it or something exactly. like that you can, like have my, also. you can have my old bitches you can have my old jobs you can have all that shit yeah yeah, that, yeah. that's the video right I'm, yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm trying to remember yeah it's like, yeah you can have my cancer yeah yeah, so yeah. you can have my cancer, yep. Yeah, and I, I'm glad I got a hold of you, though, man, because even though it's Saturday night or whatever, I'm like, you know, the next time I see you put the number up and with the stream or whatever, I'm just going to call up, man, because I tried calling up the last time, and I, and I missed it, man. I think, oh. like, I wanted to call, and you were like, yeah, you were talking to this other dude for, like, a long time, so I just I, I just played stupid, and I was just listening to all my headphones, man. I just was, oh. like, laughing and everything, you and him <laughs> were, like, really talking about a bunch of stuff, and I was, like, laugh, laughing my ass off, man. I found oh. it hilarious, man. I'm happy, man. I appreciate yeah. that. I'm a big fan of like of these things anyway because I used to work for a radio station many years ago, man. Nice. So I mean, I know how it is to have like a show and everything. And you, <laughs> you're you're cool, man. You have like a yeah. really good insight. And I'm I'm a fucking you know, amateur, about... so but I appreciate that. <laughs> Again, I couldn't hear you. I said I'm a fucking amateur. I I wouldn't even call this a radio show, but I appreciate the uh, comparison, you know. Oh yeah, well, I'm, you know, I, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I, if anything, I'm just making you look good. But no, I'm serious. Like <laughs> it, it's it's. No, it's, 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 no, it's really, really good, man. Honestly, man. And, um, I think another one of your videos was you were talking about, um, like your first love or something. I think Jasmine or something like yes, that. You yes. about this girl. A girl named Jasmine. Yeah, yeah man. It, yeah. And that brought like a tear to my eye, man, honestly, because the truth is, you know, I, I, we've all been there, man. Yes. I mean, my Jasmine was a girl called Lily, man, but it was the same situation, bro, yeah. you know? And yeah. And, and even this girl that I was, um, we went on a few dates um, late last year, like around December. And that's the girl I told you that she was like trying to use me for my money, man. Yes. And, um, you know, I was like, yeah, I was like, dude, you know, it was, it was hard to walk away. But like you say, you always be prepared to walk away. You know what Absolutely, I mean? I said, man. You know, I dragged it on further than I had to. And I resent that. You know yes. what I mean? If I could go back in time, I would have just not dragged it on as much. But yeah, I'm happy I walked away, dude. Because Absolutely. to let some, some girl, you know, use you like that, man. Like you say, her womb is polluted, man. You know what I mean? Like, you know, his girl's been ran through and everything. You Absolutely. know what I mean? It's not worth it at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Plus, if she's going to just use me and then just laugh and say, yeah, I took that guy's money. You know what I mean? Nah, I made man. a fool out of him. You know what I mean? Huh? Fuck that sh no, fuck that shit. Absolutely. Yeah. So I figure I would just, like, share that. You know, and that's why I'm glad you have this, you have this show, man, because at least people can call up and, you know, share things and laugh and stuff like that. Absolutely. I mean, we need that these days. I mean, us guys, we got to, you know, we have to, uh, you know. <laughs> this be is all we got, these man. bitches are going to be united with this feminism shit. Might as well be united to Absolutely, the homies, you man. know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. Once you walk out that door and you go out into the real world, there isn't shit out there for you. There, you have no support system, man. I, this is like, it's sad that this is the only fucking outlet men have, but fuck it, you know, we'll make do with what we have, you know? Yeah, yeah, and hopefully I'm I'm not coming across you as a caller like like you know what's with this dude or I'm just being no, honest, not at all. Man. I mean I'm an honest dude. You know? Absolutely, I'm treating you like I've known you like my whole life, and really I Absolutely. don't. But I mean I, I I'm cool like that. I'm I, a genuine no. guy. You know, I, what I mean appreciate I like to that. just talk like that. You know what I mean? Those are the only people I like to talk to, man. You know? Yeah, because you know when you call into this stuff, I mean you don't know like how you're gonna sound. You just like you know <laughs> let me just wing it and talk to no. you. You know? What I mean? Here's so, the thing, bro. We all discover yeah. this shit at different times. I discovered this shit two years ago. There's other dudes who have known about this shit for five, ten years. So, you know, it's there's no there's no right and wrong, wrong way to do this shit. You know, we're just happy to have you. You know. No, and you know what the thing is? I'm just realizing, man. I've probably been MGTOW for years. And I didn't even fucking know it, man. <laughs> the truth is, all the things about MGTOW.
town, man, that you talk about. I'm like, dude, I've been doing this shit for years, man. Like, yeah. I thought to myself, I'm like, dude, I'm 36 years old, man. Not to repeat my age and be repetitious, but I'm like, dude, I've been, I've been like, I haven't had a steady relationship in fucking years, bro. Shit, and I always thought there was something wrong with me. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'd like to be in a relationship, but I mean, I'm holding out. You know what happened, man? Compliments. Like, you knew no, better like, subconsciously. People even give me compliments, like, dude. You haven't been in a relationship for years. Like, we admire that. Like, people sure. would tell me that. And I'm like, aren't you fucking lonely? I'm like, no, nah, man. I don't want to be in no relationship, man. I don't want no bitch using me for my money. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. Even if you want mid you knew subconsciously that this is not the right game to play. This shit is too dangerous, you know? No, it's not even that, man. I hate to use to use you know the word bitch because I wasn't I wasn't raised to call women that. But the fact of the matter is, man, this social media is destroying like women, bro. That's like true. everything you talk about as Snapchat and everything. I'm I didn't even know what Snapchat was. I even had a girl tell me that, like, dude, you got Snapchat. I'm like, what the fuck is that, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Snapchat, man. I'm like, what is that, bro? And then when I heard you, I'm like, oh, dude, this dude is 22 years old, man. This guy would know, you know. And yes. you were like, talk about Snapchat. I'm like, I'm like, dude. If that's what that is, like, I know what Facebook is, of course. Like, I don't, I don't have Facebook. I even tell girls I don't do social media. I tell girls all, I'm like, dude, I'm like, baby, I don't do social media. I said, I said, you want? Yeah. We talk on the cell. We'll have a conversation. I'm having a conversation with you. Um, we'll talk. You don't want to talk to me on the cell phone? Then, then fuck it, man. It's like, oh, you're old fashioned. I'm like, I'm not really old fashioned. I just don't do text messages, bro. I don't do Facebook, and I nah, don't man. do Snapchat, and I don't do fucking, real men aren't like, on that Instagram, shit. Bro. Instagram, man, yeah. Exactly, man. Real men are out there handling their business. They're not sending Snapchats all day, man. Yeah, but she had the nerve to call me old fashioned. But I'm like, I'm not old fashioned. I'm just, I don't do that, bro. I don't, I don't see the need for it, man. You're wasting it's time. For women, man. You know, and it's just so stupid, bro. And you were saying, yeah, yeah these girls, you do it for attention, and everything. And it's exactly. true, man. You make sense with that. Yeah. You're like, girls are in this club for attention. Girls are on the Snapchat for attention, and that's yeah. all what they want is this attention, bro. You know, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't do me anything to give it to them, you know. Yeah, so you know, like I said, I just like the fact that you know I can call up and just talk to someone else, man. Because you know, like I said, man, you know, you you make like so much sense, man. It's it's, it's not even funny, man. You were like, when I'm listening to these videos from you, I'm like, dude, this guy is like, this guy talks in a language that is like. You know, it, it, it's refreshing, and we're not like on the same wavelength. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, yeah, man. Honestly, man, and and you have like so much like insight, man. Like you know, like all your videos, and you know, they're different themes, but it's all making sense. I even like the one you talk about college, man. Like you were like, you know, I don't do college. Yes, yes. <laughs> like you know, you were like, yeah, I don't do, I don't do college. And of course, that video is not even a MGTOW video. It's just about college. But it's like, yeah, I don't do college, man. Like you, you were like breaking it down too. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. Then, you know, you're talking about like, um, you got into like, you know, when you're like in the classroom and everything, yeah. <laughs> you were like describing it was like, so funny, man. I was laughing like crazy. Bro. Sure. I'm glad. <laughs> then man. again, I, was, I couldn't hear you. No, man. I said, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying them, man. That means that's, that's exactly what I'd like to hear, you know? Yeah. I'm so, you know, I, I didn't know about the whole thing that you said though, about the, um, Early on, you had talked about like you know, like like the donations and everything like yeah. that, man. I mean, if I could, if I could send you something, man. I mean, I mean, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Because like like I said, man, I, I like the videos. I was like Absolutely. I said, I'm glad I could call in tonight, and you know, if I can call in the future, I'd be glad to yeah. do it too, man. I just you know, and I tell yeah, everyone, that's okay, you know, absolutely, and I tell everyone if they want a custom midtown video on any topic they want, if they become a twenty dollar Patreon and just shoot me a message on Patreon yeah. with their topic. The next day, I'll have a yeah. video up. So, like the uh, like the video I did today was a Patreon request. Yeah. The woman in the workplace. Yeah, Patreon. So. That's the that's the word. Yeah, I was yeah, looking, yeah. Trying to remember what the word was. Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyone who wants a custom yeah, so video, I'm, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just relaxing, man. I, I I got I got the ball game on, and I just nice. said, "Listen, I'm just gonna call up this guy, man." Fuck you know it. what I mean? Because like I said, I didn't want to miss out on the chance because I know once you go off the air, that's pretty much about it, man. So like like. Yeah, you know, like I give the example of radio station. Yeah, know? yeah. It's always like that, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm so. glad you got through, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and when I went like tonight, I called up. Like I'm honestly, like I said, the ball game. I really didn't know like what you were talking about before I called in. So I like, I hope I don't sound like a fucking idiot because I want to talk to this guy. But yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Usually when you call up like a radio station, you gotta have like an objective because they're yeah. having like this whole other like team conversation. You know, you gotta kind of blend that's in true, with yeah, it. You know that's what I mean? true. <laughs> I, I never do that top. I, I, my 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 uh, live streams are always just like Q and A and stories and shit. So everybody who calls yeah. in has a different topic. So I like it that yeah. way. It keeps things yeah. fresh, you know. If we have just one topic and we're sticking on topic, yeah. I feel like the shit gets stale kind of quickly, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, and and also the fact that like you don't really know me, so I mean, at least now you know, like you know, like you know who I am. So if I call yeah. in the future, then maybe we have like a little bit of a you know better conversation because at least like I'm a first time caller to your show. You don't know me either. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit like uncomfortable, even though it's, no, I mean, not it's really. Fun, you know, I what get I mean? tons of guys who are yeah. first time callers, and they just jump into a story, and we just tackle that oh, okay. shit. You know, it's whatever you yeah, want. You man. know, like like yeah, it's yeah, whatever you want, man. There's no so, there's no limits know, to like this shit. Would, yeah. You were having this conversation with this other guy like a couple nights ago. Man. Uh-huh. It was really funny, but I don't know if you and him were like had talked for a while before I kind of like um, started listening to the show. But you and him were really like like having a good uh, rapport with each other, man. So I was like, yeah. you know, oh, man, hopefully I, when I call up, I could talk to that guy like that, have a good laugh or something. You yeah, know I mean? yeah. No, he was probably a first time caller. I, I have people who have called in a couple times, but I don't know them too well. Oh, yeah. So that's just the energy, man. That's just the chemistry, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I got you, man. I mean, I mean, hopefully, like, you, I know how you feel about me. Hopefully, like, I come across as cool or whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> absolutely, Like, and then when you call up, you know, you never know, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, absolutely, man. Yeah, man, but um, go, going back to what I was saying, I, I was talking with you um about something. Um, I don't, man, I don't want to cut from, you know, theme to theme, like, you know, then you get lost in the conversation. No, but, there's no um, theme. No, going back to what I was saying, bro, like, I, I, I really live my life a lot these, these days, like, what you talk about, like, like you know, a lot of, like, a lot of stuff you talk about, like, the different themes in your videos, I can, I can, like, rely to my own life, you know right. what I mean? Like, even though, like I said, I have my own mind and everything, you know, it's true what you said, because I'm like, I don't find too many people who think like I do, and no. you think very similar, you know what I mean? Yeah, Which I like. It's so, rare, it's rare. You were talking about, like, you know... Yeah, like basically like the mistakes other people make, don't make them yourself. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like let them fall and be like, you know, hey, you know, you made those mistakes or whatever. You know exactly. what I mean? It's not my problem. You know what I mean? So exactly. I like that. Learn for the, from their mistakes, you know, you don't have to make them. Yeah, but um, but going going back to these women, man, talk about the women, man. It's like, you know, and I know like Nick Tao is like, you know, like men doing their own thing or whatever. But yeah. the truth is, there's always a story behind it. Like these women, man, like, I don't know what it is with these women out here, man. But they're like, like you say, like they're fat and everything. You were talking about that too, right? Like, right. Like um, you are talking when I remember one of your other uh chats man you were talking about how like when these women are like fat and everything how the woman like you know you were saying like how do i how do i you know lose a calorie like stop eating the cheesecake i was laughing oh yeah oh shit yeah yeah Yeah. yeah, and you were talking about um a couple other things too like but you had talked about like i think you had said like you went like with your mom or something yes you talked about you you went there and like the woman she had said that you were waiting for the the place to open and that she had like she had dessert and then she yes. said like, oh, you're going to have a meal and you have to dessert again. Right? Yeah, dessert <laughs> after breakfast, bro. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's, but I noticed that though. A lot of like American women, and like you say, you're from the Middle East. So yes. like, um, my best friend growing up, man, he was Muslim, man. So I'm very familiar with, um, yeah. with Muslims. Like he was my best friend growing up, man. He was Muslim. And when we were friends, like I didn't need a friend, man. I was a kid. I'm like, I'm not going to judge this guy, man. Like, I mean, he was just, you know, he, he was just my, my buddy, man. Absolutely. You know, we were cool. You know Absolutely. what I mean? I mean you know, I, I'm um I'm a Catholic man, but mm. um but he was Muslim, so I mean you know I was cool with him, man. And right. he, he was hanging with my house and every just hanging out in my house, and we would just you know play ball, play basketball, and just hang out, man. And you know he was cool. So when yeah. you mentioned the Middle Eastern Muslim, I was happy with that. I'm like, oh man, this guy's cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, man. But um, but you were talking a lot about um about American women, man. You so you think that uh these American women are no good out here, huh, man? I mean, I, I'm not seeing anything good to praise them for. I'm not seeing any potential, you know. I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to yeah, be, no. you know, uh, there's a misconception that a lot of us mid town guys, we hate women or or we can't get laid or some shit like that. It's like, nah, bro, I can get laid. It's just the quality is going down every year, bro. It's like a stock that's plummeting and it's just getting more and more yeah. dangerous to fucking be around these broads, bro. They're out of shape. They have fucked up attitudes. Yeah. They're broke. They don't know how to submit. They don't know how to cook. Like, what do what? what what, what what do I need you for? You know. Yeah, that's another thing too, right? Like you, like you talking about. See, like you describe the things like so clear, bro. Like yeah. it's, it's so refreshing. <clears throat> like yeah, they they can't do anything, bro. Nothing. They can't do completely nothing. So useless. Like, what do the like? What do guys get out of it besides the obvious, man? And we are we know what the obvious, is, and even they don't do that either. No, like, you no, know, I'm not in the mood or whatever. And they you know suck I mean? in bed, most of them too, man. Yeah, right. They just lay there, man. And yeah, like, like a you fucking all the work, yeah, right? like a yeah, pillow. That's true. That's yeah, true. exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. So, it's just yeah, a shitty and then, deal. And then, and then what, I, I mean, this may sound a little bit strange or whatever. But what's your opinion on, on like strip clubs and everything? And I've never been to one. I don't. Uh, here's the thing. I don't. 
I don't believe in paying women uh, money for their attention. If she doesn't love me for me and want to fuck with me for me, I don't want to fuck with her either. You know, that's just always oh, been no, me. Absolutely. That's just always yeah. been me. I've never been in a strip club. Yeah, I just wanted to get your opinion on it, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Because, like, you know, I, I, like I said, I hopefully it doesn't sound weird, but I just wanted to get your opinion on it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because I, I agree with you on that. But the thing is, also, like, if these women were, like, we're not so, like, fucked up here, you know, those places probably wouldn't get any business. Probably the only reason they stay open is because women here are, like, so fucking stupid, right? I mean, American women. Yeah, and because you got fucking suckers, retarded-ass dudes who are willing to pay money for the fantasy that a woman likes them, you know? Yeah, and I have to, no, absolutely, man. Like, and and then you also have like these these dating sites too. Have you ever know? Because you mentioned Tender. Or yeah, whatever. I used like, Tinder, I'm yeah. not I'm not that familiar with Tender. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've heard about it, but I've never used it personally. But they have all these other like dating sites that they like. They want you to give like your credit card number just or give yeah give your credit card number just to get a woman's information. No, I've never done that. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, it's not tender, but it's like these sites out there. So That's like, a I scam, mean, bro. I wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> I never give a credit card, man. Yeah, I've, I had like um, two memberships, not not that specifically, but um, I had like two memberships many years ago, and initially they were cool or whatever, and then they started like asking you like you know to pay this monthly or whatever. I'm like, oh, fuck shit. this, man. I just yeah, I just cancel that shit, bro. You right. know, so. I feel you. Yeah, I just figure I would uh, I would ask you about it, man. So. Oh, absolutely, man. So, uh, what are you doing tonight? Just chilling, man. Just chilling, just talking. You know, talking shit into a microphone. That's all I do now. You know. Yeah. You, can't you say you're from Florida? Yeah, I live in Florida. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> uh, okay, cool. Absolutely. Well, where, whereabouts, though? If you don't mind uh, me asking. You know, like uh, like uh, Clearwater Beach. Ah, nice, man. Like yeah. the Tampa area, right? Yeah, yeah, right around there. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Nice. How about you? You're nice, from Jersey. Nice. Uh, I'm I'm further up the East Coast, man. I'm uh I'm 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 from Jersey, man. Nice. My favorite show, yeah. The Sopranos. They filmed in Jersey. Oh, uh, the the Sopranos. You said? Yeah, they filmed that in Jersey, right? Y yeah, yeah, they did, man. Um, but um, yeah, that show got canceled a long time ago, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did they did film it here, man. I never watched it to be honest with you. Man. Oh, okay. I mean, even though they filmed it here. Yeah. Yeah, that that show was big when I was in high school. Believe it or not. Absolutely, man. That's the shit. <laughs> But uh, every yeah, time I every time I see New Jersey, I just think of the show. Uh, say it again. I I I do. No, I said every know. time. Every time I see a caller from Jersey, I just think of the Sopranos. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, man. Yeah, but but uh, but um, I like Florida too, man. I probably might end up like even moving there or something. That's man, the shit. Yeah. Like, you know. The cool thing about Florida, man, is you get the nice tropical weather of California and the beaches, but it's dirt fucking yeah. cheap to live here. So it's not expensive like California. Yeah. So it's not the oh, best yeah, of yeah, both worlds. Right, it's affordable and it's nice, you know? Yeah, Jersey's like really expensive though, bro. But, oh, shit. Um, I guess in Florida, you guys just, uh, what, pay for central air all year long, right? Pretty much. It's I mean, cheap I as fuck down here. Yeah, the there's rent, no state you know, tax. Like there's no state taxes and shit, you know? Yeah, but but I'm saying though, like you guys don't have like the winners like we have here. So if there's it was no me living there, I would just pay like fucking rent and then just like the central air, man. So What is central air? Right? What does that mean? Say it again, I what is that? What is central air? What does that mean? Oh, uh, central air is like um, central air is like you don't have an air conditioner in the wall. Basically, you just have like some thermal unit, and basically oh. you just control the air, man. Pretty much. Is that cheaper or more expensive? Probably more expensive, dude. Oh like, shit! You know, yeah. Some people prefer like the air conditioner in the wall, the old-fashioned kind. Yeah. But some people. You know, they just they they buy a house or whatever, and they're like, "Yo, I don't want this air conditioning the wall." So they just throw that shit out, and then they just pay some, you know, some guy to come, with, you know, in a van and basically just install the unit. And then you have, like, you have to have like the two, um, they're like two um fan units, and those oh. fan units basically, if you have a house, they sit in the backyard, like what I got, and then basically just have it like in the wall. And then you have, you have like we have two units, one upstairs and one downstairs. Oh, so yeah. basically, they're. Yeah, and then basically, like, if you're not downstairs, you shut that shit off, and then you just put it up upstairs, and, you know, you could either use it in the day if it's, like, 90 degrees outside, or, like, when you sleep, so you sleep comfortably and stuff like that. And that's it, pretty much, man. Yeah, we just have the normal the shit down here, events. man. Huh? So we yeah. just have the normal shit down here, you know? None yeah, of that complicated yeah. I mean, stuff. I, like I said, I, I you know, the... I like the, the traditional kind, but, you know, like I say, some people, you know, they prefer just, the, you know, the central air. So I'm surprised you didn't know what that meant, though. No, <laughs> like, no, we just, <laughs> we don't even use heaters here, bro. We just use AC when it's hot as fuck and that's it, you know? 
and then of course the uh, swimming pool, I guess, right? If you have, if you're lucky enough to have one. Yeah, I mean, we just go to the beach for free, you know. It's down the street. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think also they have like a, I guess the apartment complexes, they probably maybe have like a, a pool that everyone uses. Oh, in yeah, the apartment, yeah. You know? I guess. But they don't even need to heat it because it's already hot as fuck outside all, you know, all day. Oh, yeah. No, I, no yeah, absolutely. Um, how's, how's like the winters over there? Because like Shit. December over here, we're like dealing with below. I've had Christmases that were in the shit. 80s, bro. I've had Christmases that were in the fucking 80s down here. Oh man, that's awesome, <laughs> it's man. crazy. Like, I got I got family I got family in Colombia, South America, because yeah. my mom. So basically, we go there like every Christmas, bro. So mm. basically, like when it gets cold as fuck over here in Jersey, yeah. we basically just get on a plane and go there, and sure. it's like Christmas Eve is like ninety degrees. Yeah. Bro. So I, I mean, I under I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The problem here in Jersey is yeah, it's expensive, and also like the the seasons, bro. Like we have like yeah. fall, spring. I feel like it's a depressing place to live, winter. honestly. Say it again. I said I feel like Jersey is a is a depressing place to live. Yeah, kind of, man. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, just like a cold, mean place. With that. Like a cold, mean place to live. I don't know. That's just what it looks like. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, I grew up here all my life, man. I'm not, I'm not going to defend it because, you know, like they always, they always say, like, you know, don't shit where you eat. So I'm not, yeah. I'm, you know, you always stick up for where you're from, but you know, but um, you know, you're pretty, pretty much right with that, man. <laughs> like, I mean, I honestly, like I said, I'm probably going to move out of here eventually, man. Because I, I go to Florida or something. I feel you. To me, you know, yeah, you only have one life, right? So yes. also, um, on a side note, man. I mean, I know it's. You know, I mean, not talk about depressed stuff. My my uncle died uh, last week, so mm. pretty much the last weekend was like really tough for me. So oh, I'm hoping wow. this weekend was better or whatever. So part of it's tomorrow Mother's Day, and then of course I, you know, I I, I made it a, I made it a point of emphasis to call to call up to your show the next time I had the opportunity. So okay. I'm glad I was able to call up tonight, man. It, it you know, it's like Absolutely. one of the highlights of my day. You know, <laughs> hey man, I'm I'm so. I'm just happy to help, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. But uh, yeah, that, that was really funny, man. You're like, what's Central Air? <laughs> yeah, I've never, never, <laughs> never heard of that shit, man. We have yeah. the simple shit down here, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's like a, if, if the whole thing that's like a Jersey thing, Central Air. I'm not sure, man. But it's 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 you know, some people prefer it, man, because like you figure with the air conditioning the wall, you have to kind of like put it on and everything like that. Yeah. And I don't know, I, with me and air conditioning, man, like, I mean, if it's between that and, and sweating ass, I'd say, yeah, the air conditioner, right? It's a blessing. Yeah. But usually, like, I remember when I used to have an air conditioner, I had this fucking light and that, and that shit would keep me up at night. Like, I'm the type of person, I need to pitch black when I'm sleeping, yeah. so I can't have any fucking light, man. Okay. Like, like, I have a cousin and she sleeps, uh, uh, she, she, she sleeps with the TV on, bro. Like, she, for some reason, she loves watching The Simpsons for some reason. I don't mm -hmm. even know why. And she always watches in the Simpsons and shit, so I'm hearing like Bart Simpson from her room, yeah. and she keeps that shit on. And I ask her, I'm like, "What's up with you?" And she's like, "No, it's just like I can't sleep if I don't have the fucking TV on." So I'm like, you know, she just got married in December, so I don't know how what her husband is is doing with that shit. But I'm like, you know, I I, I can't stand TV on when I'm sleeping or any light in general, man. You know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I don't know how it is with you in Florida, but over here in Jersey, another fucking problem is that you're probably going to find this funny. Um, basically, like over here, like, um, I don't know how to describe this. Like, yeah, people like go to bed at different times or whatever. Um, most people go to bed early. They got to work in the morning, obviously. But in the weekend, people, you probably go to bed late and stuff like that. But the thing here is like the sun comes up really early, probably the same thing in Florida. Yeah. And people start mowing the fucking lawn like oh, you have these, like landscapers and shit. And they're making all the fucking noise with those machines. Wakes yeah. me up immediately, bro. God damn. I know. Yeah, because I live in like a really small suburban town, bro. So like, you know, you yeah, you got all these fucking companies with these fucking Mexicans, and they're oh, with yeah. those lawnmowers making an enormous amount of noise with those machines. I mow, I mow my lawn too, so I know, I know about the lawnmowers. But yeah, man, it's like these guys, the machines are loud, man. You know, Absolutely. plus the mower I use is probably much smaller next to those tractors these people have. You know what I mean? These companies, man. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, man. So, you know, I don't know if me, I don't know if they're MIG Tower or whatever, but they, <laughs> those oh, machines shit. make a lot of noise, man, you know? So, yeah, man. So, it was interesting what you said, though, about um the whole MIG Tower thing and what we were saying about your video about women died in 2008. You're saying, well, yeah, if you, you were 36, you were like, what do you say? Like in the early 2000s, I was seeing like decline, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, man. But um, yeah, honestly, man, like I don't, I don't, I don't do clubs and bars, man. I, I mean, I don't know what your, what your feeling on that is either, man. Maybe you made a video about that, but I mean, I don't like like clubs and and bars. I find them completely useless. You know, same exact same thing, man. Yeah, I, you're 22. That's amazing, man. You know, <laughs> because like usually in your 20s, you're you know you're <laughs> fucking up. If you if you are going to attend those places, more around that time, you know. Exactly. Uh, yeah, man, and and, and I'm and I'm sure over there in Tampa, they probably have some nice nightclubs, you know, with the you know. Yeah, well, over I'm there, too you know, cheap for the, that shit, man. Yeah. I just hop I'm, on I've Tinder. Seen Tampa, it's pretty nice, man. That's yeah, all right. Um, what's the whole? Yeah, what's the whole deal with uh with St. Pete? That you guys you from Tampa you cross like a bridge and then you go into Yeah, St. Pete, Pete right? is like fifteen minutes away. Okay, and then Clearwater is what, like that's on the Tampa side? Uh it's a little uh farther up. It's like maybe okay. twenty minutes outside of Tampa. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I, I was just wondering, man, because uh I, I do like Florida, honestly. Like probably my two favorite states is probably California and uh and Florida. I man. think everyone like, feels the same way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my only deal with Florida is like I heard that um a lot of people from Jersey and New York, they go over there, man. To live. Yeah, that's true. And if I'm going to move over there, man, it's like I don't want to see fucking people from, <laughs> from Jersey over there. Yeah, but Florida like, kind of changes. You. I finally escaped you motherfuckers, and here you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's, you'll be all right down here, man. And, and 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 how are people down there like chill like you or yeah we're pretty chill man it's no one's trying to fight out here you know that's cool man and and i guess it's like i guess florida's like the south right because like yeah. I've, I've been there but i mean i've only place i've been in florida is what miami yeah. orlando and uh yeah like miami and orlando i, I i've never been to tampa though man yeah but it's, I it's, mean, n- it's nicer than all of them honestly heard good things about it though yeah it's probably in my opinion the nicest area yeah, or Miami and Orlando are like kind of bad, right? Yeah, they're shitholes, man. Yeah, and then you guys have like other places too, like Fort Myers. And I don't even go out there. That's that's way down they, south. Yeah, they, but I'm just talking about like the state, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like a, it's like a bunch of places and everything. So, yeah. but um, yeah, man. So um, yeah, you know, um, Florida. I gotta I gotta go over there, man, for for a visit, man. I I really. My whole thing, like what you say about Jersey, is like the seasons um, and just, you know, to me, it's like, you know, I, I need I need sunshine, man, because, you know, uh, vitamin D is, is good for you, believe it or not, you know? Right. right. Yeah. People people don't see it like that, but, um, you know, the, the sun, you know, kind of never did anything to me that, you know, <laughs> that I could be resentful for it from, you know? So, yeah. You know, not, not snow and cold, on the other hand, that's that's different man but uh absolutely yeah you, know, you, you got any funny stories to tell or something man i feel like having a laugh or something man oh <laughs> shit i yeah they'll come to me eventually man i gotta really think on it you know yeah yeah so absolutely. um but but uh kind of give me a refresher what were you talking about before i called in man because i have um, no I idea kinda... man i just win this shit bro huh? I, I said i have no idea oh, yeah. bro. i just win this shit i don't oh, think too real? much you know uh, I, I got you man yeah. i got you man so yeah, I, I I just figure I would ask because you know, like I said, whenever you whenever you call up, you really don't know. I mean, unless you're listening. But like I said, I just I checked um, the website or whatever, and then I saw you know Q and A. So I just called yeah. up now. Like you know, absolutely. I was like, yeah, I'll just call absolutely. up. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, I definitely appreciate just, the call, man. And you just do the whole thing for like free, right? Except for like what you said about the donation. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Because you like it, right? pretty much. Yeah. Mm. That's cool, man. You've, yeah. you've been doing it for a long time? Or? Two months, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. And, and I'm not sure if you do it like every night or whatever, because I, I heard it last Sunday. And when I heard it last Sunday, I was like, to be honest with you, I was having like a kind of like a shitty day. And I just looked at it. And then you said, live, live, there's something like live stream. People are listening. So I was like, oh, shit. So I, let me see what this is. Because I'm so used to like your videos. So yeah. I didn't really know. And then I just listened to it. I'm like, oh man it's cool man you know and then i was like wow you know and then i'm like oh, i'm gonna call up to this man i mean if i don't do it today i'll definitely do it like i thought it was like each week so i was like oh, i'll do it next sunday you know but then when i saw like i think you were doing one monday or something i was <laughs> like oh that's cool man yeah. you know at least uh he does it more than one day you know <laughs> absolutely yeah every other day you know yeah man but uh i definitely agree with you what you said about um i definitely agree with you what you said about um 
about these these women, man, because, you know, for me, you got to understand, man, me being 36, I'm in a, like a vulnerable position because, you know, on one hand, I would like to get married. Like, it's not like I don't want to. But on the other hand, it's like, like you said, I mean, like what's really out there, right? And I'm not just talking about women. I talk about like people in general, like people these days are like, I don't know if it's like they're just, I'm just, I'm not. I'm not going to like spend my whole time trying to figure people out because it's not worth it. But at the end of the day, it's like people are a little bit weird these days, right? Or Yeah, for real. No, they are. I mean, I don't know how they are in Florida, man, but it's like, you know, I'm going over here and I'm seeing some of these people like, I was looking at them like, I mean, I guess you just hate your job because I'm looking at these people like, you know, they can't even like process anything, you know, yeah. like they can't comprehend not, nothing like to take an order or anything. Right. You know, absolutely. Uh, just like a public place, you know, it's just like, you know, shit's kind of like going downhill in this country. I'm not yeah, for real. crazy. What's your, what's your whole opinion on politics? You ever get into that or <laughs> not really? I'm not, I'm not too into politics. <laughs> No, no, okay. I, no. I don't know if I ever heard you talk about politics. No. It's probably not. I just figured I would mention it because sometimes I don't like, I don't remember like each thing you talk about, but right. a lot of what you do talk about is like, like interesting. You know what I, mean? so, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I think I was listening to some video of yours, um, or like the Olive Garden something. Yeah. And you yeah, had yeah. that video up. I was listening to that, but I think that video like disappeared or some shit. Yeah. I, I put it, it on the Patreon. Show. It was a live stream. Ah, oh, I was the last stream, really? gotcha. Yeah, so I was listening to that. I kind of found that kind of kind of insightful. You know, I think you were talking about. You're also talking about, um, you know, I think some girl you were with or something. You were like talking about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I forgot what it was exactly, but it was it was interesting. You know, so I, I enjoyed it. So you know, I'm I was glad. listening to it and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully the summer will be good, man. You know, what? What? how hot is it getting in Florida in the summer? Man? It's like 90 like every day? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> gotcha, man. Gotcha. So, oh, man. Well, I, I guess I'm just going to gonna you know get off the line, man. I guess I'll let you get to uh, get to another caller there, man. So uh, it was nice talking to you, though, man, you know? Definitely. Appreciate the call, man. It was, it was really uh, a good time, man. So, you know, uh, I guess... Uh, you know, maybe I'll call up some other time, man, if you want to want to talk to me again. You know, I don't Absolutely. know what you what you thought about me, man, but it was Absolutely. interesting talking to you, man. I'll definitely continue uh, listening to your videos and everything. You know what I mean? Right, man. Anytime, bro. All right, man. Have a good one, man. Appreciate Take the care, call, man. All right. Limbo, you're up next, man. Pick up the fucking phone. I'm only answering for limbo right. I'm only answering for limbo right now, man. I'm only answering for limbo right now. <laughs> Jesus. Limbo, pick up the fucking phone. Jesus Christ. Caller, you're on the air. Hello? Hey, who's this? Is this Kurama? Yes. Really? Yeah. Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Are you sure you're sure? Okay, now I'm not sure. Now I'm, now you got me second guessing myself. Oh, you are Kurama. Who is this? I'm Limbo. Are you really? Yeah, I'm Limbo. Holy shit. What's up? What's going on, man? I don't even know what to fucking say right now. God damn. You, you can say whatever you want. Jesus Christ. This is like 
This is like our first first call this together. Is, this is so bizarre. Oh my god. Oh my god, baby. This is wow. Wow. Should I I should hang out? No, no, no. It's <laughs> you should no. You don't have to do that. It's, some... it's just what? I don't know. I just don't know how I feel right. It's just so many emotions. It's just so many emotions right now and I don't know. To say something. I don't know what to do. It's just. To say whatever you want. Um. Say it loud. Say it proud. Well. <laughs> it's. You know. I. I'm. Just, <laughs> I'm just really happy right now. You. You know. I'm just. I'm just and that was the end. Hmm. That was actually very uh, that wasn't that wasn't as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. I got to be honest, Limbo. I'm kind of like uh I don't know. I just I had higher hopes than that. I was kind of expecting you to like sweep me off my feet, you know? I didn't really feel like I got swept off my feet, you know? I don't know. Eh, uh, whatever. On to the next one. Call or you're on the air. Hey, what's going on, brother? I need uh, some advice. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so here's uh, here's where I'm at. Um, I've had uh, my wife for five years oh. now, and it's been great, and she's wonderful. Mm. She's actually totally badass. Nice. But she does not fuck anymore. So Wait, what? Whoa, whoa. Uh, she doesn't I'm what? Out. Fuck. Sorry. You're, uh, you're live. I'm sorry, bro. No, 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 no. You can swear. You can swear. That was just some mind blowing shit. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was just some yeah, mind blowing she, fucking shit. Here's the deal that she stopped, she stopped fucking. Oh. Now, and this is the week. So here's what I did I go, look, on a scale of one out of 10, I can rate people very well. On a scale of one out of 10, I'm a 10. I'm not even like a nine. Damn. Like, I'm a 10. Shit. And you are not fucking me. Like, I am six foot three, 240 pounds, 6% body fat. Mm. Like, you live in a giant house. I pay for everything. Oh, God. Fucking me. Dear God, woman. I said, you know how many chicks want to jump my bone? Jesus constantly? Christ. Bro, move and her out and move me. Bro, I'll move in tomorrow. Shit. Big house. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. So here's the thing. She starts fucking me, right? So Jesus. basically, I said, listen. And so I go, look. You know, if you don't start doing something here soon, I'm going to go get it somewhere else. Shit. You know, I was like, I'm not going to leave you because you're a yeah. good girl, but I'm going to go get it somewhere else. Absolutely. So anyway, I basically, you know, and, and I don't, I didn't want to do that. I did not want yes, to do that. Right. But nine months ago, nine months ago, I did. Yeah. So my other chick on the side has been nine months and stuff. And so she comes up to me and she basically says, Hey, look, you got to tell her what's going on between us. And I said, okay, what's that going to do for you? Anyway, I'm not leaving. I'm not going to leave my fucking wife and kids for you. Are you joking? Like that's not even happening. Yeah. Like I have gone like, like that's not how it works with guys like me. Like I will stay with my wife and my kids forever. Right. Like I will never leave. I will never leave them for. A of course. You gotta, you gotta speak up a little, man. We lost you. You gotta talk closer to the phone, man. We're, we're kind of breaking up, man. Again, 
I mean, I, I read the rational mail, you know, you know, Royal Mocky, all the, you know, uh, big cow books. I read to them. I was like, the, uh, you're the best. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I would put you up in the I appreciate that. Um, yeah, you would be helpful. You've been someone like, I got to, you, I, I listened to a bunch of your videos and I went, here's what I got to do then. Yeah. I got to be honest with her. I got to be honest with both of them. Yes. I'm never leaving my wife. I never leave my kids. You are always going to be number two. You got to be good with that. You got to take high. So I went, well, now I got to tell my wife, but she's always going to be number one. She's always going to be awesome. But she stopped fucking me a long time ago. So I want to get it elsewhere. And that's how it's going to be. Right. Forever. Right now on. I'm not saying like this is a one time thing. I'm saying this is going to be You start from there. Your kids are going to take that place. Big thing in theory when you do that. Right. And the theory is, well, I'm a tough guy, I'm a tough man, blah, 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 blah. I understand. But uh, I did it. It was very honest with her. And I did everything you said. Mm. I said, hey, listen. And, and I said, I'm not going to fucking leave. Are you joking me? You're a fucking amazing woman. And she goes, oh, no, you're going to leave. And you cheated on me, this, that, and everything. It's over. Our relationship is over. I said, our relationship is not over. And yeah. I'm not going to leave you. And you're not going anywhere. I said, you can just keep me to the side. And that's how it goes. She goes, well, what, if, you know, what if I want you to do that? Uh-huh. Like, you're kind of breaking up, man. Can, 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 can you hear me? Amazing woman, that's why I married you. That's why I believe you, but you stopped fucking me a long time ago. So I'm gonna get elsewhere. She was working, she said, One time, I said, I did. I said, The next girl was gonna fuck me as well. I already have my prize back to you. Are everything to me, but these other chicks are just fucking ways. Do you understand? Yeah. She, they are lazy. Yo, what the fuck? 
I have no idea what that even was, bro. Like. Now, hold on, guys. Hold on, the trolls, man. I have no idea what the fuck that was, bro. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I'm not taking calls right now. I'm fucking done. Are you? I'm. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I think I'm done streaming for now, man. I'm kind of lost right now. I, I had no idea what these fucking callers are talking about. Sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just try again tomorrow, tomorrow man. <laughs> <laughs> 